Coming to you live from their studio in South Florida, Twist Gaming. Featuring lead broadcaster, Matt Coza. Co-host and creative genius, Josh Perry. Co-host and interviewer extraordinaire, Anne Lazito. Co-host and marketing mogul, Aaron Murphy. With appearances from special guest, Lucy. Welcome to Twist Gaming, where you get to play board games with us. Good evening, everyone, and welcome. This is Twist Gaming, where you get to play board games with us. We're coming to you live here from our studio in sunny South Florida, bringing you another episode of Twitch Plays Kingdom Death, where we do an ongoing campaign of Kingdom Death Monster with you fine folks at home, rolling some dice, drawing some cards, hitting stuff in the butt, and being super serial with us in our super serial green armor campaign. But first up, who are we? I'm Matt. I'm Josh. And this is Twist Gaming. What do we need to update the video? The intro oh, the video. intro video. It has been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while since I made the video. Yeah, I could probably what, do What that should be the next? Transition? Tr yeah. The next step? The next step. Uh, so we did, that was Anchorman. Yeah. What will we go after that? I don't know. What's like a good intro mechanic that we can use? I don't know. We do like 90 sitcom. Some really, like really up, music. upbeat music yeah. and then just clips of us like being interactive with each other. Yeah. Could potentially do that. Um, something to keep note on. But Josh, what happened on the last episode of Twitch Plays Kingdom Death? Uh, we fought a DPK and we killed it. We did. We like took all its resources. And then what happened? Ooh, Austin Powers. And I think that was, we won, we came back, we are victorious. Uh, and we're going to go fight another DBK. Well, the reason why is because when we innovated, when we got back... We got storytelling. We got storytelling. Yeah, we, and which we, we desperately <laughs> needed that to activate the Tom story event. Yes. Um, so we're fighting another level 2 DBK. We're contemplating fighting a level 3. Because we need the... The calcified Juggernaut Blade. Juggernaut Blade. And we're... Like, we were on the fence about it. The only thing is, it would have been Twitch's character's last fight. And we couldn't bring them out to get... A sleeping virus flower. Yeah. So if we were able to bring them out, I think we would have gone for it. Yep. But otherwise, we did not. So did you level the Black Harvest, or have you not done Black Harvest yet? We. So we just put that on the timeline yeah. this year. Then next year, we'll level it up. Yeah. Um, so it's on the timeline. So we do have one endeavor. I'm going to say we used it on War Room so we could reroll one of our hunt events. I like it. Because we had one one still floating around. Okay. Um, just so to give some protection. Twitch is still taking out kind of their B-team character, Dump Cake, so your stats aren't great. We didn't want to put you in a position where you can't do anything. Yeah. Um, so one of the things we also did is we made a bunch of extra digging claws. So we're going for broke on the iron, and on top of that, too, we want to kind of test out our strategy for how we want to deal with a level 3 DBK. Yeah. Um, so this is going to kind of be a dry run for us to see how this works for our next DBK fight, which will probably be in two lantern years, which will be a level three. Because we got to go fly, fight a Flower Knight next, right? Might want to like fight two Flower Knights, mm. depending. Yeah, potentially. Um, um, so it might be like, it might be a couple of years. We'll, might be, we'll yeah, it might be a couple of years. So we're getting ready to fight a level two DBK. Let's go over survivors really quickly. So Twitch, you're playing as Dump Cakes. You've got one strength, two evasion. That's it. Um, you do have cross arm block, which is nice because you do have as much of the green armor as we have right now, and one of that is the green gloves. So you've got seven armor at your arms. Yeah. Um, you've got thrill seekers, so you're going to gain extra survival, which is nice. Uh, you've got tunnel vision, so you can't activate your uh, activation unless it's to attack. Attack or what? Uh, you, still a weapon. On, on a weapon, so you so can you technically can block. block. Yeah. And then you've got hypersensitivity, which is actually nice. So you get some extra blocky blockies in. And you're going for shield spec right now. So you're actually one away from shield specialization. Um, and one away from understanding your insight um, as well. So I'm playing as corn checks. This is one of our super survivors that we de-aged, which is nice. So four movements, four accuracy, nine strength, four evasion, two luck. Otherworldly Luck, Abyssal Sadist, Mammoth Hunter, and Quixotic. And we took Immortal off of him, so now he is going to be able to go ham. Yeah. Um, and they are three away from Courage, See the Truth, um, one away from Insight and Understanding, and they are one away from Fist and Tooth Specialization. So I okay. need to make sure I hit with my Fist and Tooth. So gear-wise, I'm rocking the Vespertine bow setup and a bunch of other random, random things. All right. I got Barry Hopeful, who's our glue man. 
Clue man. You have to say it right. Stupid stats. Yeah, really dumb. Uh, three movement. Yeah. Which Doesn't is, matter. That's their bad stat. Doesn't really matter. Three accuracy, seven strength, six evasion, three luck. Six evasion is just off the charts. That's yep. just silly. Yep. Um, and then you could do a naked build without having a, any of the naked build items. <laughs> like, pretty much. Don't um, need crystal skin. You don't need leyline walker. You don't need the tool belt. You're just like I'm. I'm naked. Yep. Uh, then I have. Uh, they have raw hide set on. Mm -hmm. They have a digging claw. They're a grandmaster specialist. Two away from mastery, but they're also a guitar master. Oh. So they have a digging claw and a rip blade on them. That's silly. Um, digging claws just to kind of help with century carapace cards. Yep. Um, uh, they're pro mostly going to be hitting with the rip blade because, yeah. uh, depending if there's reactions or not. If right, the, the nice thing is you on. can mitigate reactions. Yeah, I can mitigate too. reactions. Uh, they do have ghostly beauty. They do have quick exotic, so they're going to get a plus one strength token. Nice. Um, yeah, they're just they're just silly. Yeah. And your last character is naked man, right? Yes. Uh, so Special K, who this will be their last to get their last age. So they technically have one more fight because then they'll get retired. So we'll use that to go for a Sleeping Berries Flower. Um, Probably. Maybe? What's their stats maybe. like? So their stats aren't great. They only have, they have three movement. Yeah. They're, they're kind of got a little gimped. Uh, they have four strength, two evasion, one luck. They're eh. They're eh. They have Timeless Eye. Okay. Uh, extra Sense. Okay. An extra dodge. Uh, Phantom Friend, which is meh. Uh, Stark Raven, so they're always insane. Hemophobia, which isn't great. Yeah. Um, they have Acid Palms. Okay. Leyline Walker. And Leyline Walker doesn't pass, so that's why it's kind of meh. Yeah, it's kind of meh. So, like, I'm not... Uh, and then Sour Death, which okay. is they can encourage themselves up. And when they encourage, they get a plus one shot token. Okay. Um, and they're running Naked Build... Um, and their gear grid's just silly. It's just silly. Put it put it on board camera quick. Oh, the face down oh, card. Where's the remote? I don't know. The face down card's a luck charm. We just like everyone has a luck charm on them right yeah, now. Yeah, we ran out of luck charms. Um, yeah. Can you rotate it so it's not as ugh, the camera's just so washed out? Yeah, right I'll now. fix it. Josh, what's rule three fabrications? Uh, that's my little laser company that I started. My little laser. Someone in chat could laser. do the. That's better. All right. So we have a bone pickaxe and a bone sickle. You've yep. also got the pulse lantern, which is just in case he's going to do something nasty. Yep. Reverberating lantern, which is to make sure we get max survival going into the hunter as close to it as possible. A luck charm. Just it's yeah, whatever. Um, a cat eye circlet. Uh, so you're going to be running some utility there. Uh, dry to cant this because while you do have a bunch of evasion, any direct hits are really nasty for you. Uh, tool belt, which gives you extra three evasion, so you have six evasion on top of your character's evasion. So it's a 10 to hit you, essentially. And uh, then you've got the the DBK errant badge, so that's one armor at each hit location. Um, you get bonuses, yes. Yep. We will all get, well, not Josh, but he gets. we all get bonuses in the uh, mineral gathering event because of that. Gathering. Minerals, Marie. They're minerals, Marie. Quick, what's that from, Josh? Breaking Bad. Breaking. Breaking Saul. Breaking Saul? Yep. Bacon Saul? Oh, I've got a joke for us today before we start. What, what's the joke? A uh, man was in the middle of a desert, and he's dying of hunger, right? He sees a tree, and draped all over the tree is bacon. So he goes, oh my god, it's a bacon tree. He runs to it, and as he's running to it, he gets shot down and he dies. And that's when he realized it wasn't a bacon tree. It was a ham bush. It's horrible. <laughs> All right, so we are ready to begin the hunt uh, phase. So I'm going to go first. Josh is going to go second and third. And Even pun expected. <laughs> pun expected. Said boo. <laughs> <laughs> that made my night. The fact that it's pun expected that said yep. it. Oh, yes. Um, so Josh is going to go second and third, and Twitch is going to go fourth. We have one hunt event reroll that we can use from War Room. How dare you? <laughs> uh, so first up, we need a random hunt event card. Josh, how does that work? They, they roll it. How do they roll? Uh, they do exclamation roll, or they click on the button if they have the extension set up. 
I wonder what's inside the button. Is it code? Yeah. Is there code in the button? <laughs> uh, and they rolled a... It's tubes, Matt. It's internet it's, It is a series of tubes. Um, it didn't work. Fix it, Josh. <clears throat> Fix it! I believe in you. I believe in a thing called Josh. They rolled a 77. Just listen to the rhythm of the Josh. Uh, it's a sinkhole. A gaping sinkhole suddenly opens under the survivors, revealing a swirling black pool of ichor beneath them. Each survivor rolls a d10, with the lowest scoring survivor becoming the straggler. <sighs> okay. That's poopy. All right, so each roll a d10. Josh, how do they roll a d10? Uh, same way they roll the other dice. How does that work? Same way. Oh. Uh, I have explore on one of my characters. Um, I have prepared. It's not explore. It's prepare. Oh, sorry. I have it on one of my characters, though. So I'm going to add four to my roll. So I rolled nine. Chat rolled six. They also have prepared, so they also have nine. I rolled a nine and a nine. Do we really have four nines? <laughs> well, I have prepared on one of my characters. One of them is not a So nine. we have three nines. You guys have prepared or no? Yes. Then you get to add your hunt XP. Oh, no. that The 9 is with their hunt XP. Oh. They have 3 hunt XP and they rolled a 6. I have 4 X hunt XP and I <laughs> rolled a 5. <sighs> okay. What happens in the case of a three-way tie? We each roll a D10. This sounds horrible. Yeah. This isn't nice. I rolled a 7. I rolled a 10. They rolled a big bucks, no whammies. Three. <sighs> um. Yep. It. Uh, we got yours, gamer Hudson. Um. All right. So a three will go bottom up. Uh, the other survivors haul you up, but not before something is sucked below the surface. Archive one gear of your choice from your gear grid. Green armor. <laughs> um. Luck charm. Oh, turn more grease. Grease. Grease is the word. I want to keep the acanthus on them. Yeah. And um, the luck charm would deactivate their green plate. Okay. Yeah. So. Lose the grease. Grease. They're uh, not stinky anymore. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Next up, what did you roll, Josh? I rolled a seven. Seven. You are dragged to safety, terrified but unharmed. I rolled a ten. After a monumental effort, the other survivors pull you free. Someone is clinging tightly to your feet. Gain plus one population. Okay. Each survivor suffers one brain event damage. Okay. So we get a free person, which actually we desperately need. We got peoples. That could have gone worse, all things considered. Could have. So we're going to move forward. <laughs> <laughs> wow. He wants to sing the song of his people. <laughs> uh, Josh, this is your first character, which is who? Uh, this is Barry Hopeful. So it's the Abandoned Resin Ball. Uh, you spot a large spherical object covered in floor, resting at the base of a small valley. Your lantern light catches a glimpse of a face on it. You may descend and investigate. If you do, gain one courage and roll a d10. Okay. I'm definitely doing this. I get plus two to explore rolls. Ooh. So gain a, a courage. Oops. Gain a courage, which is nice, because I only need one more courage for... See the truth? See the truth. Ooh. ooh, 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 ooh. I rolled a nine. Along the ball's inner walls, you find rows of beautiful drawings. Do we have pictographs? No. Okay. Gain one understanding. Oh. oh, that's good. That's actually really good. My understanding is not great. We need that for... Um, one after insight. Like I'm at four. Uh, we need it for the um, yeah. spelunking of death. All right. Spelunky. <clears throat> so we're going to go... And this is your second character, Josh, which is whom? Special K. Special K is the... Is that the gloom man? No, that was oh. it. Because this is the bug, man. A cloaked form appears from the darkness, its garments bulging in inhuman ways, and ichor drips from the shadow-clad mouth. Roll a d10. If the result is equal to or lower than your courage, you investigate. Otherwise, you panic. What's your courage? Um, it's nine. I rolled a nine. If it's equal to or lower than your courage, you investigate. So I investigate. Okay. Uh, I'm at max courage. Yeah. All right. So roll a d10. Okay. Six. Oh. 
A sharp clawed hand, uh, sharp claw hands you something wet and sticky. Gain one fecal salve gear. You must add it to your gear grid now. I don't want to add it. You just got poop, Josh. Can I just toss it? No, you must add it to your gear grid now. It specifically says it. Twink. Get rid of your luck charm. Yeah. You got poop. Got poop. Which actually isn't terrible for that survivor. It's not helpful. You don't have otherworldly luck on them? Not on this character. That would have been nice if you would have got the other thing, because it's plus one courage, plus one understanding. Um, I'm at max, so oh, it are you? matter. Oh, I didn't realize you were maxed out on that. Yeah, that character's maxed out, oh. so... Okay, then. All right, so now it is Twitch's turn. We're going to move forward. We go... And it is a random hunt event. So, chat, please roll a random hunt event. That's exclamation mark roll or click the button that's on the screen. Click. The button. Click. Click. The button. Button. Click. The button. Josh, how's your poop? That's uh, poopy. They rolled a 68. Josh, what's a 68? It's it's a number. A 68 is a familiar face. Have any survivors died in this campaign? Yes. Each survivor rolls a D10, with the lowest scoring survivor becoming the straggler. Potatoes. Eat, eat, potato potatoes. I rolled a one. I add plus four to my roll. So you're a five? Yeah. I rolled a five. Chat rolled a nine. And my other one rolled a two, but I get plus all my age, and I'm at, like, max age. Oh. So, so, so we're, we're tied. tied again. Um, okay. Um, while examining the stone faces underfoot, the straggler recognizes the face of a fallen friend. Bittersweet memories reduce them to tears. Reduce their insanity to zero. They gain one understanding. So you and I both gain an understanding. Oh, that's Josh. not bad. No, it's I, not don't, bad. I don't mind that. Um, and I just hit insight. Nice. So because insight, uh, 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 insight, boodle do All right. H I. Insight. Hunt phase, so I'm going to get Explore, which is add plus two to my... Investigate rolls? Investigate rolls. And I rolled a three, which is re-roll one hunt event phase, this hunt phase. Hunt event, this hunt phase. All right, so we have two re-rolls. Yeah. All right, and then we're moving forward. Make it sound. Nah, nah, nah. It's good enough. And now it's my turn. So I am going to get a random hunt event. So chat, you know the drill. D100. Should I grab some coconuts to do that sound? Oh, yes, you probably should. And they rolled a one. One. One is the loneliest number that there ever been. Broken lanterns. The survivors feel something crunching beneath their feet. The event revealer may choose to lower their lantern and investigate or ignore the sensation and continue their journey. If they choose to investigate, the event revealer gains one courage and rolls a d10. Otherwise, roll again on the hunt event table. Um, do, 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 do. Yeah, okay. I guess I'll do it. It's you doing it? This is chat. This is mine. This is you? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to gain a courage. And I roll a d10. Eight. It's plus my inv explore, so that's plus two. So it's a 10. Uh, the survivors uncover a long-abandoned lantern horde. The forlorn sight fills them with dread. Each survivor sets their insanity to zero. After composing themselves, each survivor takes one broken lantern basic resource. Add them to the settlement storage. Okay. Got them scrap. Yo, dog. Heard you like scrap. So you put scrap in your scrap. So you can scrap all your scrap. Scrap, 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 scrap. Uh, and we're moving forward. To overwhelming darkness. Darkness. <laughs> overwhelming darkness. Uh, everyone roll a d10. We're all on the path of the brave. I'm brave. You brave? I'm brave. None of us are insane anymore. I mean, no. I don't have Stark Raven. <coughs> we all have three plus courage. We brave. brave we brave. brave. Uh, chat rolled a seven. I rolled a one. I rolled an eight and a two. Oh, okay. I'm okay with this. Um, I rolled a one. You find a half-dead survivor covered in translucent moths. Spend all your survival to save them and gain plus one population. Okay. 
I'm going to spend my survival and gain another population. I just got us two population. I'm just finding people all over the place out here. Um, also, don't forget the lantern event. Yeah, yep. got it on there. Uh, so next up is a two, Josh. Yes. Uh, you punch yourself in the face to chase away doubt. Gain one accuracy token. Minus one accuracy. Minus it. Yeah, okay. minus one accuracy token. Uh, next up ch is chat rolled a seven, and you rolled an eight. They're the same. With your lantern held high, suffer one event arm, uh, one event damage to your arms. Um, that was my first character. So we can do the herb gathering gives us survival, right? A little bit, yes. Can we, can we do? We can do the lantern, the lantern first. now. Yeah. Okay. So we all go through. It's lantern time. Everyone's at max except for me, right? Um, Barry's at seven. Okay. <clears throat> so I need the land, the uh, Manhunter book. I think you have it over there. It's because I, I forget what the other event is. Oh, it's just remove negative tokens, right? Yeah. All right. So <clears throat> Manhunter book. Do you want to do that first, or do you want to do the... They're saying that we need survival for mining. Yeah. So we'll get some survival from herb gathering. Yeah, I just want to make sure I have enough because I for the yeah. mining. Okay. Um, all right. So sonorous rest. I'm gonna gain two survival plus one survival for each green affinity that I have, and I have green affinities. Two, three, four. What's the insanity one? Uh, gain three insanity plus one for each blue affinity that you have. All right. So I'm gonna take the ins. I should take the insanity because I'm at max. I'm going to gain six survival, Josh. You're at six? Yeah. Okay. I think with red, I'm actually going to take the insanity. Okay. So that's three. Fix this gear grid. Twitch is at max survival, right? Yeah. Is it worth it for them to take the insanity? Uh, it doesn't hurt. It's some brain armor. Yeah. All right. So two, we're going to go ahead and do six. that. They're going to gain five insanity. Five? Okay. So, Glue Man's back at Glue Man again. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, are we rolling for Shadow Puppets? Oh, well, yeah. So, we, I get to get rid of a token, right? Um, so, War Room. Each survivor may do both of the following. Oh, okay. So, you roll a D5, and you can remove, uh, repair D5 armor points. Uh, I'm just going to fix the one armor that we both lost. Yeah, exactly. Because that's all we lost. Armor. And, oh, we have storytelling now. Yeah. That's right. So, we get to roll a D10. Right. So, chat, roll a D10. <coughs> this is still? Um, good stuff, actually. Very good stuff. Boop, 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 It's a three. Uh, each survivor gains one survival. Okay. I'll take it. Uh, cool. So, yeah, and then you yeah, remove the, the negative token that you got for the character. All right, so then we're moving forward, and it's time for herb gathering. Yep, which is when we start this, uh, survivors consume herbs and berries. All survivors gain plus one survival. So I'm at eight now? You're at eight. Nice. And berries at nine. All right, so each survivor must make a special gathering roll. Uh, so we're going to choose a number of d10s. So we get an extra plus 10 because of overwhelming darkness. And yeah, okay. All right, who wants to go? Do you get there? anything extra for the sickle, or...? It's no, just that it just, that's what it just triggers. puts the, the okay. triggers up. Um, let's have Chat go first. 40 tens. Okay. 40 tens. What if they rolled 40 tens, Josh? What if they rolled 10 d tens? Then, statistically speaking, they're probably not going to pass. Just saying. I'm going to email for a position for a mor mortgage loan specialist. I don't know why they sent that to me. Uh, I don't think that's your area of expertise. Not, not at all. And chat rolled a three one six three, so they got zero. Okay. Uh, Josh, you want to go next? Sure. Four. Yeah. I mean, I rolled poorly, but no doubles. No doubles. One three ten two, so that's sixteen. Yep. Okay, so sixteen plus ten, we're at twenty six. Can we do another four? Um, no. Because we're we're not gonna get the seventy five plus. So what do we get right now? Right now we get one survival and a fresh acanthus. If we get forty five, we get two fresh acanthus and a vermin and three survival. 
So let's aim for 45, which means we need 20 more. 19. I'll roll three? Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! Yeah! <laughs> okay, so 27. So what did we were what were we at before? Uh, twenty six. Yeah. So twenty six plus twenty seven is fifty three. Yeah. Okay. So fifty three. If we get to seventy five plus, we can explore the swamp. So we need twenty two. Twenty two. Yeah. You could roll four dice. Four. You could roll five. Like it, it's like I'm gonna roll four. I think this is our, our, a good chance here. One ten six five. Okay. That's twenty two. Right? Yeah. yeah, twenty two. What did I say we needed? Uh twenty five. I had twenty six was the original. Yeah, we had forty three. And then I we added twenty seven. Oh, we had fifty three. Oh, that puts us at seventy five. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Made it. The only thing is, we I don't get the extra survival now, but whatever. Um. So only you, because we have a sickle. Whoever has a sickle. Gets yeah. To go. Any survivor with a sickle may explore the swamp or gain a fresh account the strange resource. Let's explore the swamp. Do you have an almanac? No. Okay. So roll a d10. I rolled a five. You find a captivating clearing, gain a fresh acanthus strange resource, and explore the swamp again. Any survivors that have not explored may now also roll on this table. So we can all go now. Yeah. So should I explore again? Yes. We have survival of the fittest, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think we could we should we should all explore. Okay. Let me roll again. I rolled a ten this time. Deep in the swamp, you find a twisting vine in the shape of a withered hand holding a fruit. Seductive and repulsive, you, the shining fruit is a sight to behold. You must eat the fruit. If you cannot consume, then nothing happens. Roll a d10. A two. An explosion of tiny red seeds burst in your mouth. Uh, you stagger, blinded by the overwhelming sensation. You are forever changed. Gain one permanent red affinity. Okay. You get a brand affinity. Um, so I guess I'll have chat go now. Because why not? Right? You want to go with your other character, Josh? He ate a starburst! I think it was a pomegranate. What else could I have gotten? Um, a green affinity or a blue affinity. Okay. They rolled an eight. Uh, chat rolled an eight. So you observe a small insect polishing a flower, gain one understanding, a fresh acanthus, and a vermin resource. I also got an eight, so I get an understanding as well. Yep. So they now can... we get two vermin resources. Oh, and they just hit insight. So chat, please roll a d10 for your insight. Oh, that is tactics cards. Those are not vermins. What did you roll? I rolled a two. So suddenly the water around you bubbles furiously. Spend one survival to dive to safety or perish. If you have three plus courage, you may explore the swamp again. I'm going to go again. We got a hissing cockroach. Oh, chat rolled a 10. And we'll land. Um, so a 10 on this. So they're going to get explore. Yep. And a 10 gives them plus one permanent evasion. Nice. All right. So, Josh, if you could reduce my survival by one. Yep. I rolled a seven this time, which is ghostly flower blooms, uncovering a face inside. It tells you that you are peaceful, careless flower. Remove any disorders and gain apathetic, gaining plus one understanding. It's apathetic again. I got check. Oh, wait. I have otherworldly luck, so I could add plus one on this table, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I'm is gonna... it investigated? I don't think it's an investigated, is it? Uh no, it's an ex it's just explore the swamp. Okay. Um all right, so I'm going to add plus 1. So I still gain plus 1 understanding, but I gain a fresh acanthus and a vermin. Okay. Uh so another fresh acanthus and a vermin? Yeah. Okay. 
you can't spend survival, I think. No strength tokens, I think, maybe survival. Oh, yeah, it's probably survival. But, yeah, I, I don't want that, so I'm... <clears throat> That would be annoying if I got rid of a mortal and then I immediately got that. It's like, no, you still can't spend survival. Uh, you got a sword beetle. What's a sword beetle? Uh, you can eat, eat it on a six plus. You get plus one permanent strength. And what happens on a one through five? Uh, one through three is you die. Mm -hmm. Four through five is nothing. Okay. Do I want to eat it? No. You sure? You don't need the strength. <clears throat> what if I wanted it, though? I mean, you could. All yeah. right. So we all went, right? We all went. That was fun. Mm -hmm. Okay. So next up, we have their minerals, Marie. That's what the event's new name is, canonically speaking, right? Sure. All right, so mineral gathering. Uh, every survivor with a pickaxe rolls on the mineral gathering table. We all have pickaxes now. Pickaxe, pickaxe. I rolled a five and a ten. And everyone with the... Um, Dean the, Claw gets an extra roll, right? Yeah. I rolled a five. I rolled a five and a ten. But my other worldly luck works on this, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, chat rolled a two. Um, so they're going to want to re-roll that. What's the two? Two is they gain hemophobia disorder. It's kind of nasty. They said save the re -roll since Josh got the Oh, pack. okay. That makes sense. Um, so I have... Okay, let's let's do the bottom up. So they're going to gain the hemophobia disorder and one understanding. So I'm going to... understand gonna that's not bad. Yeah. I'm sorry, not an understanding, an insanity. No insanity. Sorry. I'm removing their sun drunk, and I'm going to put hemophobia on. Okay. All right. Um, then. So then when they get a bleed token, when there's they get a bleed token, they get knocked down. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next up is you with a five. Uh, both of us. You, or you I have, have a six. six. Um, so five is gain a broken lantern resource. Uh, okay. A rock slide catches you off guard. Suffer two event damage to a random hit location. I rolled a six, which is find one iron strange resource among the faces, among the unyielding stone faces. Uh, as you free it, roll a d10. On a six plus, you hear a snap. Archive a pickaxe in your gear grid. Is that still with a dick and clones? Yeah? Okay. I rolled a ten, so it's fine. Oh, no, it snapped. So my digging claw goes away. You could use your reroll now, or do you... Um, I'm going to re-roll now to get rid of it. I don't want it because I, I lose it anyways. Wait. What? Did you use your plus to get to the six result? Where you could have oh, the I five? did. I did. You're right. Why don't you just take the You're five right. result? I'll take the five. So I'm going to gain a broken ran lantern resource, and I'll take two damage to a random hit location. That makes a lot more sense. Uh, two to my body. So... Reduces my armor to zero. Okay. All right. So worm tunnels. Uh, roll a d10. Add two to the result if you have a sickle. So we can all descend into. Okay. Special guy, go first. They have a sickle. Yeah. I rolled a four, so that's going to be a six. All right. Uh, you blunder in the darkness, lost and separated from the other survivors. A voice whispers to you, leading you back. Lose two survival and gain two insanity. Okay. Uh, so chat's going to go now. Roll a d10. Matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match. Find me a find. Catch me a catch. They rolled a... 10! Okay. Uh, you find one Iron Strange resource embedded in a hairy crystal. Choose to either gain the iron or spend two survival to follow a crystal trail leading you to the crystal lake. Um, it's per the survivor, I think. What? So, uh, during the Mineral Gathering story event, you may reroll one of your Yeah, it's, it's whoever has you it. Can't. So I'm assuming they want to spend two survival yep. to go forward? Uh, all right. So then let's have them roll on Crystal Lake. Uh, add plus two to the result if you have a whip. Whip. A cool whip. Cool whip. Cool whip. What do you think they're going to get here, Josh? A ten. A four. A uh, four is Reflection Speaks to You, Gain a Random Disorder, and plus three Insanity. They could re-roll it. Yeah. They have a re-roll here. I re-roll for Crystal Skin. Yeah, I was, I was looking at Crystal Skin to see if it makes them get naked right away, but Crystal Skin doesn't happen until you go back to the settlement. Mm -hmm. So, they'll be okay. 
and they rolled A. Nine. You find two Iron Strange resources, or you may spend three survival to descend to the Lantern City. They take the iron. I think they take the iron because since they're they're insane now, right? Yeah. Yeah, so a one through four kills them. And it's get like a black armor, like blacksmith armor. Yeah. On the higher rolls, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think we want iron anyway. Yeah, so. exactly. How much iron? Uh, two. Okay. Then anything else or that's it? That's it. All right, I'm going to go now. Rolled a five. Uh, lose two survival and gain two insanity. I'm going to re-roll it. Why not? Or do you get plus one? Does that change it? No. I rolled an eight. You find one iron strange resource embedded in a hairy crystal. Choose to either gain the iron or spend two survival to follow a crystal trail leading you into the crystal lake. Going down? Going down. What's my survival at? Five. Okay. Uh, I rolled a seven. You find two iron strange resource in the ceiling. You can either gain them or spend three survival to descend into the lantern city. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to Lantern City, Josh. Why? Because I have a reroll, plus I have otherworldly luck. Okay. So I'm probably... And I'm not insane now, right? Yeah, you're at zero, so you're not insane. So, yeah. How much is I spending? spending? Uh, I'm spending um, two. Three. Two? Three. 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 Right, you're down to two. All right. So I rolled a five. And I'm going to keep this. So, a Yawning Forge stands cold in the center of the city. Dismantling it, you gain four iron resources and three scrap resources. Yo, dog. Heard you like die. Four iron? Four iron and three scrap. Okay. Um, scrap just gets written down because, like, there's, no, that, there's not that many scrap cards. Do we need lantern armor, though? I'm, t I'm taking, like, we got iron for days now, which is going to feed Josh's hunger for the perfect slayer. Uh, how many scrap do we get? Three. Perfect slayer. It's going to be so... It's just going to be stupid. We could use the new people that we found. Be like, hey, new guys, come over here. Well, Perfect Slayer is going on gloom, man. It's just going to be this guy that just comes up with giant swords. No, no, I mean to sacrifice for oh, the Perfect oh, Slayer. Yeah. It's like, hey, new people, we saved you. By <laughs> the way, you're you. getting turned into a sword. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we um, need your blood. Uh, your last survivor, Josh? Yep. We have one more iron that we can get. Ah. Did Josh a second character? No, not not yet. Is this your digging claw guy? Yeah, this is my digging claw guy. And you still have your reroll. Yep. Okay. I rolled a four. A four is blunder in the darkness, lose two survival, and gain two insanity. I'll reroll it. I rolled a six. Same thing. So lose two insanity. Uh, gain two survival. Lose two survival, gain two insanity. insanity. Okay. Yeah. Um, I actually gained double insanity. I should be at like sixteen insanity. Is that gloomin? Yeah. Harvey Gloom and Attorney at Law. All right. One iron short map. Yeah. We'll probably gain it during the fight or something. Maybe. Uh, all right. So that's the end of mineral gathering. Uh, now we need... Mineral that. Marie's. They're, they're minerals, Marie. They're, min they're Marie's, mineral. You're, you're a little survival. Yeah. I only have two, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Superfood. Nom, nom, Wait, nom. whose is this? This is... Me, you, you, Twitch, me, you. This is... Gloom Man. Yeah, your first character. First character. Uh, Superfood, you find a curious stone face with a... Uh, it is ringed with overgrown dead acanthus plants. You may push the dead leaves aside if you do investigate. Roll d d10. I don't like this. Um, I don't want to investigate. Yeah. Just roll right in front of it. We and have we, two re-rolls. Yeah, we have two re-rolls. I was gonna say this is that's kind of a, a doo doo poo poo one, right, Josh? Yeah, doo doo poo poo, doo doo poo poo. Doo -doo it's a technical term. Poo poo. Where'd you get that doo doo? -doo? And they rolled a fifty-eight. Fifty-eight is sent on the wind. A strong wind blows, bringing with it the scent of a distant place and things. The event revealer rolls a d10. Just give us an ambush. Uh, it's a 50-50, the monster ambushes us, or we ambush the monster. <laughs> or do we want to re-roll the event? That's what I'm thinking. I'd rather not get ambushed. Ambushing him would be great, but... Yeah. But 50-50 shot. Wouldn't, he doesn't have other... I don't have other... That's Matt's character. 
Because this is specifically the event revealer. Mm -hmm. And it's not an investigate roll. You want to re-roll it? Yeah, let's re-roll it. Okay. It's... If it, was, if it was a different monster... He's... He, I mean, he ambushed us last time, and it's hurt. Rolls the ball twice, which is... Yeah, it's... He's nasty. Which is nasty. 75. Shaven to five. We could re-roll this one more time, too. Oops! Stumbling through the darkness, the event revealer crashes into the ground, crushing their lantern beneath them. The living light inside the lantern becomes agitated by the survivor's clumsiness and burns a piece of gear. They archive one gear of their choice from their gear grid. No. Okay. So one more time. Now we're going to get, like, cancer pigeons or something. And they rolled A. 51. I have no idea what that is. Refugees. The survivors encounter a group of fleeing settlers. If the settlement has symposium and language... We do. The survivors manage to crudely communicate. The survivors may offer a resource or gear to help the distressed refugees. If they do, archive the offering. Um, does anyone have a poopy... We have a ton of resources, Matt. We have this stack of things. Oh, a resource? Yes. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and give them a scrap. No, I've given them... Oh, the beetle? Sword beetle. Sword beetle. Here's a sword beetle. <laughs> or should I give them the lonely ant or the hissing cockroach? Keep the sword beetle because we could feed that to a newbie and try to buff someone up a little bit. Okay. Hissing cockroach is the insanity one, right? Yeah. Yeah, give them the hissing cockroach. Yeah, you can have a cockroach. Although the cockroach would be nice for gloom, man. You lose all your survival when you eat it, though. Oh, yeah, that's poopy. All right. Um, so, while much is lost in translation, they see a mournful tale. They relate the savage invasion of a monster that destroyed their home. The ta tale prepares the survivors for what lies ahead. At the start of the showdown, reveal the top five AI cards of the AI deck and put them back in any order. Okay. If any survivor has the leader fighting art... Don't. Eh, we almost got another person. It would have been nice. But looking at the top five AI cards is really nice. Yep. All righty. Uh, and then we're going to go into the, settle the showdown. That wasn't a very bad hunt face. One, two, three, four, five, six iron. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight other resources. Plus we got three 14. scrap in directly in settlement Oh, storage. no, more than three scrap. We got seven scrap. So before the hunt even the, before the showdown even starts, we got like what twenty resources. <laughs> yeah, we got uh, we got a stupid amount of resources. All right, so and Josh, we gave one away. Yeah, we gave one away. Uh, so Josh, I need your help here. Yes. Where's his ball? Oh, I forgot to grab it. Grab a bug while you're up too. All right, so we're also going to need some stone colognes. So I will grab those because Josh was nice enough to give me the columns. One more column, gonna celebrate. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Got the dancing. Boo, boo, boo. Okay. So Josh, you remember how to set us up? Um, kind of like an area. Yeah, and if you can. Who's uh, getting the ball tossed at them? Can you um, go ahead and put those on that side of the board? Sure. Do we get a random or no? No. Uh, yeah, no. All right. Dung ball is going to go behind the monster. And the bug patch is going to go in the back of that. Okay. Okay, so who wants to get targeted by the ball? No one. Who's stinky? I'm stinky. Is Twitch stinky? Twitch is not stinky. Do you want to take the ball hit? What's the ball hit doing again? Um, I lose a survival when I get hit by the ball. Uh, but you could dash. I could just dash right away. Yeah. yeah. I, I only have three movements, so I can't dash like out of ball range, really. Yeah. Okay. I could probably dash. That's fine. Okay. So set me up kind of further away from the ball. So set yourself up closer to wherever you can be. Uh, it's the back six. So two, three, four. Right? Yeah. Okay. 
So I'm going to go there. And he targets with the ball. He targets closest. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Furthest stinky survivor. Furthest. Yeah. Okay. So just make sure you're... I'm as far as you can be. Just don't be as far as me. Okay. We'll do this, I think. I like how we're all like facing the other way. Like we're running away or something. Uh, we need five tactics cards, Joshua. Five tactics cards. Four from... I'm sorry, three from the green plate armor, one from the flower knight badge, and one from the DBK errant badge. Errant. All right, we got attack pattern. We got quad strike. We got trip formation. We got block formation. And we got... This is a vermin. <laughs> uh, we got confound formation. All right, let's show them off. So, we have Confounding Formation is when we're standing in a straight line, we can set the priority target token. We've got Block Formation, which is when we're in a square, we can ignore the first hit from a monster's attack. Pretty nice. Uh, we've got Trip Formation, which is when we go behind the monster with two, two people behind it, one in front of it, we can spend an activation to knock them back and knock them down. We've got Quad Strike, which is if we go in the four corners, we can spend a Survival, and then each Survivor rolls a D10 and adds their Strength, and then we do a Wound. And knock them down. And then we've got attack pattern, which is set the order of attack and gain strength, which is handy. So that we didn't get reviving tactics. Yeah, that would have been nice. It puts you back to max survival. Yeah. Um, all right, so let's go over DBK stats really quickly. He has seven movement, 14 toughness, one speed, one accuracy, and he is going to have 13, 14, 15 health. And looking at his cards, he has baller. Uh, which is this little guy here. So at the beginning of his turn, he moves the ball directly around him in a circle and causes collision, and it goes in front of him. Uh, then he's got power forward, which is if the ball's next to him, he throws it at the furthest stinky threat by 2d10 spaces. Uh, it's going to do 5 damage to monster-level hit locations. And then we have um, separation anxiety, which is it gives him this little symbol, so if the ball's away from him, he doesn't do anything. Or he doesn't do what it says in the card. Uh, and then we've got Prepared Tunnels, which is really Ground Pound? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which is the monster slams the ground, precisely altering its network of Prepared Tunnels. All survivors uh, adjacent to the monster suffer bash. Vibrations create a natural ramp. The ball moves 1d10 spaces closer to Mr. Monster. And then he's got Heavy Load, uh, which is you lose a survival when the dung ball collides with you. All right. Uh, top hit location card is a Sentry Carapace. Yay. And uh, we get to look at the top five AI cards. Okay. Three, four, five. Oh, you want us to put his legendary one on top, Josh? No. I'm going to put that as the second card down, so that way we can get rid of it. Okay. Um, it's really nasty. Which one is it? Uh, when this comes into play, the monster gains a plus one speed token, then perform a basic action. And then replace the monster's basic action with 3 speed, 2 plus accuracy, 6 damage, after damage, bleed 1, minus 2 to all severe injury rolls. Yep, that's nasty. That's really mean. Um, so we've got... He's not going to be adjacent to his so ball, wait, right? So wait, what, what does he do first? He does baller? He does baller. Which is, he's going to throw the ball... He's going to place the ball in front of him, and then he's yeah. going to throw it at me. Okay. By 2d10 spaces. And then he full moves towards the ball. So he may or may not be next to the he ball. He may or may not be next to the ball. Um, oh. I don't like that. That's mean. Smash shot is, is nasty. Um, resin ball shot. I, just, I want him to attack green, so. What? Does green stinky? Uh, green's not stinky. Yeah. Oh, no. Green is stinky. Um... Should I, I probably should move green like here-ish. I'm going to have him do Resin Sword Slash. Which is? Closest knockdown survivor in range. Closest survivor. Okay. So with this, we can probably have him be closer to you than me. It's two speed, two plus accuracy, six damage. Oh, and then he performs a basic attack after that. I don't want him to do that. That sucks. He's got really mean cards that are up right now.
Um, so his two basics, right, are both per turn, pick the furthest stinky threat and perform baller. So they're, he doesn't actually attack. He just kicks the ball at you. I don't want that. Yeah. It's really nasty. Then he's got his legendary card. Then he's got Genius Architect. Which is? Uh, closest stinky threat. The ground collapses, target suffers bash, and monster level plus three damage to the legs, then perform a basic action. He's got really mean cards in his top five. Let me see. Like, really mean cards. Kicking the ball is worse than most attacks, especially with the evasion that we have, because we can, like, mitigate the damage, whereas the ball's just like, no, you get damaged. That's horrible. <laughs> so I'm going to do this. I want to get rid of this. They're mean cards, right? Let's do re Rising Sword Slash. I, I he'll do a basic, whatever. He'll be next to his ball. We're still gonna push it away from him. I can take two, a base. I like. I can take the hits. Okay. So as long as he. But uh, that's just a really bad selection of five cards. Yeah. Right on the top. All right. So he's gonna go first. He's gonna do baller. So the ball goes in front of him. Yep. Then we need two. Are you dashing? Yeah, I'm gonna dash. Uh, we need two d tens to be rolled. So you're down to one survival. Yay. And I'm gonna move one, two, three, four, five spaces away. <laughs> Please don't hit me. What? Nothing. Just, that was that closest. Oh, good. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then he's going to full move towards the ball. Okay. So I'm going to have him go here. Okay. So that way he can attack you. Uh, then he's going to draw an AI card. And he's going to do Resin Sword Slash. So it's going to target the closest survivor. That's which, me. That's you. Hi, uh, Mr. Dung Beetle. Three D tens, two plus accuracy. How much evasion do you have? All of it. How, uh, honestly, I'm curious. How much evasion do you have? Um, so my toolbox gets me three. Okay. Uh, I have two natural evasions. So that's five. Okay. Then I have Leyland Walker, which is another three. Okay. So that's eight. So it's a ten to eight. Yeah. Okay. And he rolled a three seven eight. No hits. Hey, Mr. DBK. And now he's going to perform a basic action. Uh, so this goes away. Basic action is uh, closest knockdown survivor, closest threat in range. Hey, Mr. DBK. He's going to roll Come hit me. four D10s, and it's going to hit you on a 10. And then he's going to move towards the ball. He's already next to the Which ball. is next to him. Yeah. Okay. This is how you play, right? I win. I don't get touched. Let's see, rolls some tens here. No, three, seven, two, three. No hits. Full move towards the dung wall. He doesn't move. That's the end of the monster's turn. Right, we want to beat the shit out of him right now. Yeah, we do. Because all of those cards suck. Yeah. All right. So first up is a sentry carapace. Um, you want to kick the ball with green? I mean, with red? Or do you want to wait? See if there's a reaction I'm first. Wait. Okay. First. Um. You want me to hit with my six toughness? He's got fourteen, so I'd put him at twenty. Okay. Yeah, hit him with one of your guys first. Okay. I'm not gonna hit them with red because red circle yeah. in. So yeah. I'll hit with green. Okay. So you don't need to move. So I don't need to move. <clears throat> I roll three d tens. No, two d tens. Okay. What do you hit on? Um. Five plus. Okay. Two and a four. That's no hits. Is that right? I get plus three accuracy. It's typically an eight plus, so that makes it a five plus. I have no natural accuracy. Okay. You want to surge? Sure. Five and a ten. That's a little bit better. I have timeless eye. It doesn't do anything, though. All right, so we're doing this one first. Uh, so Sentry Carapace is up first. So plus six toughness, so it's a 20 to wound this location, but you gain 2d10 strength because you're attacking with a pickaxe. I also have sharp. 
So you're rolling four d10s. Oh, poorly. You rolled really poorly. That's uh, 12. 12. Your weapon's got two. Two. That's 14. How much strength do you have? It's four. It's 18. It's not enough. Lose one survival. That was a really shitty roll. It's a horrible roll. All right. So at least it goes away. Does it? You still... It's just you feel hopeless, lose one survival. That's it. Yeah, but you don't archive it. No, you just don't archive it. Yeah. Um, so now you're attacking his iridescent arm. I rolled a two plus a six. It's eight. Your weapon's two, so that's ten. Your uh, strength is four. That's just enough. Just enough. You're rolling really shitty right now, bro. Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, the monster stumbles backwards. It suffers knockback oh. three directly away from the attacker. Perform ground pound. One, two, three. Ground pound. Okay. Huh? One of his attendants popped Oh, off. shit. Uh, so he's going to roll the ball 1d10 spaces closer to it. And you do one wound to the monster, so Josh, please reduce the monster's life total by one. I would have really liked the survival gain on that. But. Yeah. Um, oh, I'm attacking this. All right, we got his legendary card out. Yeah. Uh, they rolled a 10, so the ball's going to go back next to him. I'll do that. Yeah. All right, so... Is my range five or six? Range is ooh five. Shit. Unless you sniper. Yeah, I'll sniper bow it. Wanted a full shoot, but are you close enough to sniper? Oh, I am going to. I'm gonna surge. Surge. Okay. And are I'm you close enough to sniper? Um. Oh, you're right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. No, I'm not. So I'm gonna move. Then I'm gonna I'm just gonna shoot. Okay. Um, sniper shoot. I'm not close enough to other shoot. Okay. I I hit. Thirty five months. Hey ice. Ice ice, ice baby. baby. Hey Josh was supposed to take an hour to set up. I made dinner planning on that. We actually started we actually started planning like an hour before stream started yeah. today. Like we were thinking about doing a level three. So I'm attacking his filthy resin sword. Do it. I'm trying. That's crit. <laughs> uh, the blow shatters the weapon. The attacker gains one survival. I'm also going to gain one survival because I've got um, sadist? abyssal sadist and I a forgot you had abyssal sadist. Huh? I forgot you had abyssal sadist. Yeah. Uh, and then we're going to gain the regenerating blade rare gear. Nice. The monster suffers knockback five and gains one minus one damage token. Persistent injury, broken blade. Josh reduced the monster's life total by one. One, All right, two, so we three, technically four, don't need five. to fight a level three now. Yeah. Because we can calcify this. Yep. Um, sorry that I knocked him so far away. That's fine. All right, and there's a Sentry Carapace card up next. Um. <sighs> what? I don't know what cards on top of the AI deck. I think they're just gonna. He's gonna move the ball closer. It's probably fine. I think they're all baller, but he doesn't do baller if it's not adjacent to him. This is kind of. Mm, that's not about whatever. What? I um, red has a dismembered. No, green has a dismembered leg. So would it be kind of nice to? It's the other side, Matt. Oh. We don't. We don't get. The During the settlement phase, you may archive this to remove the arm, dismembered arm or dismembered leg permanent injury from one survivor. Oh, okay. And that has to go in a gear grid because we got it now. Oh. During the settlement phase, you may archive it. Oh. Let's see what you're saying. Um, okay. I'm going to get rid of... Fuck. I don't know what. Does, does it say you get it or we get it? Um, the attacker. Okay. I don't want to get rid of my luck charm. The grease? Yeah, monster grease. Yeah, you're right. You're right, you're right. And you? Okay. You're always right. right. Uh, okay, so... Yeah. You're no longer stinky. 
Yes, I am no longer stinky. I think Red's just going to teleport and push the ball. Okay. So you're going to go here? Yeah, um, you want to push it this way. I do want to push it that way. That's not where I want to go, though. Yes. DBK is going to... Yeah, sure. Whatever. Okay. Kick that, that pool! pool. D5, right? Yep, I move it. Three spaces. Uh, that's a good roll. One, two, three. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't know what his next AI card is. I think he's going to do ground pound. It's not a big deal. And it's just going to hit that stone call. Yeah. It's not going to move. Yeah. All right. Uh, so it's the end of our turn. Uh, can Twitch, Twitch do anything? Go. They can run forward and block. Put my shield up. Put my shield up, playing my song. Uh, they don't. Just they can move like one space closer to me. They'll go there and put their shield up. Okay. Why not? Right? Right. All right. So it's now the monster's turn. Monster control is going to pass over to corn checks. And we're going to do not do baller because the monster is not. Next or does technically ball. does baller, but it doesn't do anything. And then power forward happens, but it skips power forward. Uh, power forward is what happens. Oh, yeah. It's you're called right, baller. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Uh, so he's drawn an AI card, and it is Smash Shot. Uh, do not perform this card. Instead, perform Ground Pound and then a basic action. All right. Uh, so Ground Pound. He is going to move the ball 1d10 spaces closer to it. It hits this column. I'm not going to even bother rolling. Um, and then... No, Twitch, Twitch should have stayed with it. We're up. Why? Because uh, he can't reach anyone. Uh, no, they would just be able to reach him. We, want, we, we don't want him to do his instinct, right? Right. Okay. Um, so then he's going to do a basic action, which is going to target the, where it is that? Closest it's, threat. Um, range. Sorry, I'm just looking at something else. Yeah, it's going to target the closest threat in range, so that's going to be Twitch. Yep. So he's going to full move to them. He's going to roll four D10s. One, he hits two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, they're not even close enough. Oh. Okay, and then full move towards the dung ball. So does he, does he not target them then? He does. Oh no, it's closest threat in range. Else, no target defensive spit sev. There are any sentry carapace cards archived. Put them back on top of the hit location deck. The and monster flies to its ball. Put it adjacent to the ball. Okay. Whatever. So monster goes next to the ball. That's fine. With the ball in its blind spot. Okay. Sure. All right. Sentry carapace is up next. Do you want to hit that, and then I can full shoot him, maybe? I can't get close enough to hit. I mean, I can full shoot the sentry carapace. I've got enough strength. You can use your pickaxe on it, and you get survival. Oh, yeah. That's true. Just run up to him and stab him. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to run here, and then I'm going to shanky shank. Shank, shank, shank. Shank, shank, shank. Shank, shank that booty. Diddle, diddle, diddle. Uh, so it hits on a 4+. plus. I've got 4 natural accuracy. So I hit. <laughs> the perfect hit. <laughs> the perfect hit. Um, I'm attacking the Sentry Carapace, uh, which is plus 6 toughness, but I'm going to roll a bunch of dice. Red is my primary. Okay. I rolled a 1. Okay. Uh, Loses survival. What's my survival at? Two. Okay, there's another sentry carapace. I'm going to surge. Okay. So I'm going to attack again. Another perfect hit. Uh, Yeah, that's more than enough. So I'm going to gain four survival. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, you're going to get five survival. Yes, five survival. Wait, no, it's not a wound. Yeah, you're right. So it's four. Four survival. And it gets archived. So next up is his iridescent leg, which is if you crit it, the monster gains minus one movement token. Hmm. It's uh. Twitch needs. It's to also this is a good one to hit because he's adjacent to the ball. Twitch needs to dash to get there. Or can they crit? No. This might not be a bad one for Gloomman to do. But he's next to the ball. No one can hit the ball away. <sighs> Uh, 
unless Gloomin does. I, I can kind of make it there with... I'm not really a critter, though, with my other character. But I can dash there. Red's a critter. I'm saying red is a... Red is... Red is... That's Gloomin. I'm just saying, go in, hit him, crit it, then surge and dash to hit the ball? That's when it's for survival. I'd, I'd rather just hit the ball. You have I also get knocked. Survival. I also get knocked down. Oh, okay. Okay. After the hit. I have seven survival. Okay, fair enough. I don't have max survival. Okay. Um, I could try to punch it with... I don't even have my electrum anymore. Does someone want to try to hit it at least and just I it? can't do anything. Uh, what's the reaction on it? Uh, failure if the attacker is within three spaces of the monster they are grabbed and smashed into the ball. But they can ignore it with guitar. Correct. So you want to twitch dash and hit it? Yeah, let's do that. Uh, you can dash to the ball with green and then hit the ball. No, green only has four movement. Green only has three movement. Three movement? Yeah. Um, all right, so let's have twitch go and smash it in the face. Okay, so they need to spend the survival to get over there. Uh, I guess there. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, three is... He's slow. They rolled a nine. So that's a, a hit. Uh, so they're hitting his iridescent leg. So they ignore the reaction. <sighs> What's their stats like, brah? Poopy. They got poopy stats. Oh, they... Mm, I guess they didn't make sense to use the Thetosaurus there. So five plus one. Six. So they need to roll. That's fine. An eight. Is that a crit? No. Because the Fetosaurus, I mean, the Digging Claw is not deadly. deadly. Okay. It's close, though. Uh, it is a wound, though. So, Josh, please reduce the monster's life total by one. All right. That goes there. Okay. Next hit location is a Sentry Carapace. Getting them out of the way early, I guess. They can surge? Twitch can surge and hit it with their shield. Or the Digging Claw. Yeah, I think let's do the Digging Claw and play it safe with them now. What? Yeah, we can do the Digging Claw. So roll a d10. Got the roll at d10. Boop -a -doo, boop -a -doo -doo. Oh, they also have plus two strength from their green gloves. Forgot about that. Oh, they rolled an eight. That's a hit. Yeah, it's definitely a hit. So they can roll three d10s on Mr. Sentry Carapace. And if they wound it, they get four survival. Yep, so... Which max at max. Really, their weapon's five. Their gloves are two, so that's seven. Then they've got one natural, so that's eight. So they have eight. They need to get 20. They rolled a one. Oh, they rolled a one. They fail. They wouldn't have enough anyways. The rest of the roll is shit poop. Uh, so they lose a the survival. You're doing really bad on this carapace card. Yeah, we cards. are. Next up is a sentry carapace card. Should have gone with the shield. Should have gone with the shield. Um, all right. Green can get closer. So hold on. Before you go with green, mm -hmm. have red go over here and kick the ball. Because if you kick it this way, if it only moves two spaces, green can technically dash in there and kick it away. Sure. Make sense? Sure. Okay. All right. Kick that poop. Kick it two spaces. One, two. It's not Jason Dome, so I... I, I, I'm... I think diagonal counts. No. No? No. Separation anxiety is... Monster's not... Okay. Yeah. Only sucks if you roll one. Yeah. Okay. Um. So, sorry, what were you saying? Um, put, put you back on the board yeah. there. Um. Okay. That was that. Um, what you doing with green? Just move forward some? Three spaces? No, like this way. Okay. Yeah, I think that's it. All right, so it's the end of our turn. Nothing else I can really do. Yeah, so else I can really do. All right, it's the end of our turn. It's now the monster's turn. Monster control is going to pass to Barry Hopeful. Um, he's not going to do his other thing. He's going to do. Ugh. 
do not perform this card. Instead, perform Ground Pound, then a basic action. Ground Pound. Um, roll a d10. Shit. Uh, do I have any survival? What's what's it do? Um, you can just slide the ball back behind him. Like you're fine. You're not gonna get hit. Oh, okay. Then yeah, that's fine. But ground doesn't everyone adjacent to him get knocked down? No. I thought. It's doesn't say that. Uh, um, oh, I'm sorry. All survivors adjacent to the monster suffer bash. You're right. Okay. So Twitch and I are gonna get knocked down. So ball's gonna go four spaces closer, so it goes back in the blind spot there. And now he's going to perform a basic action, which the basic action targets the closest knockdown survivor. So you are Twitch. <sighs> Twitch has more armor than me. I'm trying to look at what my stats are. So I have four evasion, and that's it. They have three evasions, and that's it. I think Twitch. Okay. All right, so it's going to attack Twitch. We need 40 tens to be rolled. Does none of the plus damage token anymore? Two. Oh, that's nice. So each attack's only going to do four damage. Still four damage each. Uh, so they have three evasion. Plus their flower knight badge. That's four evasion. So it's going to hit them on a seven plus. Two hits. Two hits. Okay. So they can... Roll two. Can't they dodge two hits? Oh, they have hypersensitivity. They have to dodge two hits. Yeah. They have to dodge one, but they could dodge two. I thought they had to dodge as many as they can. No, it says you have to dodge every round. Every oh. time you get hit. Oh, okay. Not, not for each hit, but you have to dodge. <coughs> so legs and body. I think they just spend up two survival. And dodge both. Yeah. They've got a lot of survival, right? Um, there's a carapace card. They yeah. can hit it again. And get some survival back. And get some survival back. So they're fine. Um, and then full move the monster towards the resin dug ball. Already there. Yeah. All right. So it's now our turn. So do you stand back up now or no? No. No. Someone needs to stand them up. Yep. So green? Uh, yeah, green can stand up. Can you stand both of us up? I can only stand one person up. Oh. Stand up Twitch, and then they can get I'll the survival. Twitch, yeah. yeah. All right. So Twitch is up. Uh, they're going to, I guess, stand me up first. Sure. And then, should they shield bash? Or do you think just take it slow? Shield bash. Shield bash. 2d10. Wait. They need survival. They should only they should use their pickaxe. Because the extra survival is on a pickaxe. Or a club. Or a shield. I thought... No, it, the plus 3 survival is only for a pickaxe. If you wound. Um, oh, you're right. So they only look at the first one. Yeah. I didn't look at it. So yet. they rolled a nine. Okay, so they hit. Uh, they're doing the sentry carapace, so they need to roll three d10s. Yep. Let's clear those other ones out. I forgot about that. <laughs> the extra dice is for all of it, but it's... Yeah, yeah. The extra survival is for pickaxes. Gotcha, home skillet. And they rolled A. Eight, yeah, six, they're, nine. There, they're you there you go. So they get four survival. All right. What are they at? They're at 8 now. All right, so that gets archived. Next location is the side of the resin ball. So this is good to hit now because he's next to it. He's next to it. Um, or not. Hold on. If you don't crit, this is an impervious. The monster guides the attack into the side of the resin dung ball, making a demoralizing echoing sound. Unless the attacker is deaf, they lose all positive attributes and one survival. It's a reaction? Yeah. Someone could cancel it with Yeah, that's true. Tar. Um, I don't know what happens if you crit. Gain one survival and the monster's knocked down. Do you want to try for yeah, it? Yeah, I'm going to go for it. All right, so I'm going to Katar him. Uh, one speed. I hit. Attacking the side of the resin ball. Ball, ball. And I'm uh, canceling that out. That's not it's a not reaction. It's not a cancelable reaction. Mm -hmm. You want to take that back? Yeah, I'm going to take that back. Gonna full shoot here. Don't you have the um, the fighting art? Oh, you don't have King Step on no. this character. No. 
You know, full shoot here. Do you want me to check hit locations? Or? Yeah, if you could check hit locations. I'll surge to check hit locations. Thank you, dear. There's two side of the resin dome ball locations in there. Oh, the five some spent on two survival. We don't have pottery, right? No. Okay, I'm okay with this. All right, I'm going to full shoot. Three hits. I'm hitting the iridescent back, the side of the ball, and the side of the ball. So I'm going to do the iridescent back first. Uh, so well, let me roll d d10. It's a three. I've got nine strength, plus my weapon's got six. Okay. That's so a wound. All right, so Josh, please reduce the monster's life total by one. He turns directly away from me, which he already is, and there's no one in his blind spot. So nothing happens. Wait, read that again? Turn to face directly away from the attacker. The monster beats its wings. All survivors in its blind spot. He turns away from you. Oh. Shit. Which cancels the two impervious things. Yeah. Okay. Which you're going to get screwed from that, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we get knocked back seven. Mm -hmm. I'm okay with this. It's also an okay reaction. Actually, actually, you're still in range. Yeah. Yeah. I am. All right. So I'm still attacking him, technically. Uh, so side of the resin ball. Boop, 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 boop. That's crit. Now the attack luckily spins into the side of the ball, crashing into the monster. Gain one survival. The monster's knocked down. So monster is knocked down. Knockdown token, please. And I'm hitting the other side of the resin ball. So is that canceled, or does this still... It still happens because it's not a reaction. Okay. So I lose a survival and all positive attribute tokens, which I had none. Okay. So I lose the survival I just gained. Okay. Uh, next up is a Sentry Carapace card. Uh, green will go in. Twitch already went, right? Twitch already went, yeah. Okay. I think Twitch already went. Yeah, Twitch already went. Ten and a ten. Is that a hit? No. No, it's not a hit. Two hits? Yeah. All right. Um, we'll do this one first. Four dice. One, two, three, four, ten, five, three, four. Okay, you're okay this time. Uh, all right, so Josh, you're going to gain four, three, survival. four survival. And that gets archived. I think we went through all of them. Maybe. I believe we went through six of them at this point. So now you're attacking the iridescent breastplate. All right. Three plus nine is 12 plus two. That's enough. It's 14 plus four. Yeah, I'm good. Uh, the monster stumbles backwards. It suffers not nope, back. No reactions. Oh, that's right. Oh, so you don't get courage. I'm at max courage anyway. Oh, okay. So that doesn't really uh, But you reduce the monster's life total by one. Yeet. Yeet, yeet. All right. So next up is the tarp card. You've activated my tarp card. card okay. Card. Um, what's my survival at? Your survival is at six. All right. I am going to dash. Why? Because I'm going to activate the trap card. You already went. Uh, just wait till next, next turn. turn. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna kick the ball red. Oh, okay. And then it's the end of our turn. Okay. You're gonna go here. Kick it that way. Sure. I kicked it four spaces. It's a nice kick. All right. That's it. Yep. That's Monster's it. Monster's turn. So monster control is gonna pass over to Barry Hopeful. He is going to stand. It is that Barry? It's gonna go to special K. Oh, special K. Uh, and then he's gonna draw an AI card, and he is doing shoulder bash. Close to stinky threat in field of view in range. Who's stinky? Um, I don't think anyone's stinky anymore. <laughs> I'm stinky, but I'm in his blind spot. Um, all right. So then closest threat. Which is blind spot, so it's me. Okay. Turn around. Every now and then, Dung Beetle Knight's gonna beat you up. Just kidding. He's gonna miss a lot. Turn around. So it's a 10 plus to hit you. Yep. The only thing that sucks is you're gonna get ground pounded, so you're gonna get knocked down. 
two, four, three. Oh, it's actually 1d10 for ground pound. I'm only looking at the first one. Okay. And I got knocked down? Yeah. But I'll get up again. Never going to keep you down. I can encourage myself. We haven't even been using attack pattern at all? No, not at all. Seven and seven. It's so only one. Seven. It's still not. So it's just in his butt. Yeah. In the butt. All right. That's the end of the monster's turn. Um, you're going to make him go away from his ball anyway when you shoot him. Do I? Because he full moves towards you. Oh, yeah. Um, do you want to teleport with red first so you don't get run over? He doesn't have to run over me. He could go between the two of us. Uh, all right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to move. And I'm going to shoot. Yeah, that's fine. All right. I'm going to shoot. And... I rolled a seven. That's a hit. Activated his tarp card. I activate his tarp card, which is all survivors are doomed. Full move directly towards the attacker. If the monster is adjacent to the attacker, he's not. So I move full seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Prime butt action there. And that's the end of the monster's turn. Yeah. Well, the end of the the end of the, the the tarp's turn. End of your turn. The end of the tarp turn. You've activated my tarp card, Joshua. Can we make a soundboard where it's just you've activated my tarp card and we play that whenever we activate the trap card? We can. You can do that with the stream deck. Why haven't we done that yet? I don't know. And then another button for it's time to do 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 You get knocked down, but you get up again. Yeah, we need to we need to just record those so it's less exhausting on us. We work very hard right now, Joshua. We could make them alert videos too. We could. I don't think anyone wants to see that. Do Chat, do you want to see that? All right. Top, bottom, or middle? Middle? Okay. I mean, you basically already have Matt. You say it every time you do That's it. That's true. That is true. All right. Top is the iridescent leg, which is a crit, then minus one movement. Um, so since he's not next to the ball, it crushes a keystone, and he moves one d10 spaces closer, the ball closer to him. Okay. Do you want to crit it? Do you want to hit it and crit it? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I'm going to do a Rudy 2D point and shoot. And it's gonna... going to slide between my two characters. <sighs> I'm going to full shoot. I have to spend a survival to, to surge. Okay. I'm going to full shoot. Risking it for the biscuit. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to reroll that one. Okay, three hits. Seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine. Why six afraid of seven? All right, so I did get a sentry carapace. All right, so I'm going to do Sentry Carapace first. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to roll... A d10. 1d10. I rolled a 6. You have to hit 20? Yeah. My weapon's a 6, so that's 12. 12. I've got 9 strength. So you wound. Yeah, I wound. Um, you gain, gain a survival. survival. And again, yeah, just one survival. All right. Uh, then I'm going to attack. <sighs> yeah? No. Well, that's just poop. What do you got? Not a huge fan. Of... <laughs> I'm going to do this one first. So the iridescent leg. So it's going to um, move the ball 1d10 spaces closer to him. And then cancel the reaction on this card. Okay. I rolled a 2. It's a, a wound, wound, but it's a 2. I wanted to crit it and reduce his movement. One space closer. Okay. Um, reduce the monster's life total by one, and then his iridescent arm. Oh, it's a one. It's All a right. Failure. I mean, he doesn't knock over Twitch. And he doesn't do ground pound. Yeah. Okay. That was a shitty turn for me. Uh, next up is a parry hit location, so you could only crit it. You can only crit? Yeah. And what's the... 
failure is full move towards the attacker. If the monster is adjacent to the attacker, suffer bash and knock back seven. Just hit it. You could swing with red. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, he's not by the ball, so he's yeah. throwing it. Oh, you got a survival and insanity. Yeah. You wounded. Yeah. Um, sure, let's have red go in the butt and beat it up. Swing! Swing! Swing better, better, swing! 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 swing. Alright, so 1d10. Okay. I rolled a 3. What does that mean? Um, it means I hit because I hit on everything. Just like me. Alright, so untrained parry. Rolled 10. Is that a crit? It's a crit. Gain one Dung Beetle Knight resource. I and Josh, please reduce the monster's life total by one. Uh, I get knocked down. But you get up again? Never going to give me down? This is... What we get? His fingernails! More fingernails. He's got really long fingernails. Um, it's because he has really deep boogers in his nose. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, next hit location is butt flies. So butt flies is roll a d10 and add your courage. If the result is greater than six, you boldly ignore the flies and archive. Right. I'm going to encourage myself up. With green? With green. Okay. And then I'm going to move three spaces. One, two, three. I guess I'll dash. Four. And I'll attack in. Okay. Uh, Ice Chamber, does that mean you're saving your evil pole for murder or later? Oh, God. Don't you even joke about that, Half Thor. Um, I need to be on the side of him. I can't hit him from the... I can't stand next to Glue Man. Oh, that's right. Uh, I but seven. he's not Glue Man anymore. It's, it's, if oh, I, it's we've had the fight in our... Yeah. Oh. Uh, seven and one, so it's only one hit. All right, so you're hitting the butt flies. Okay. Um, you're you don't need to I roll. I don't need to roll. Yeah. Um, archive this card. Thanks, Josh. Appreciate it. Welcome. Next up is the hidden mandibles. So if we crit this one, we break his mouth. Oh. Did you surge already? I did. The attack ruins the precious mandibles inside the monster's face. If the attacker is within two spaces of the monster and able to consume, they may spend two survival to eat a glob of spit, gaining plus one permanent evasion. That's really nice. I have six evasion you, already. You I don't need it. it. It'd be nice on my character. Yeah. Do you want to wait? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Uh, Twitch hasn't gone yet, though. Twitch hasn't gone yet. They can, they can tank the hit. What's his... Green's there. Yeah. Green, Green's like, I, I'll take whatever you do. They can move into the blind spot so it can't hit them? Oh, they can kick the ball. That's true. No, they can't because they have tunnel vision. Oh, yeah, you guys can't kick the ball. That's the one thing you can't do. Can't kick the ball. You can go in his blind spot and just set up for a butt punch later. Hmm. So if he does ground pound, though, they're going to get knocked yeah, out. Yeah, that's true. I would just like move a space over. There. Yeah. And put their shield up, just yeah. in case. Put my shield mm -hmm. up, playing yes. my song. Butterflies fly away. I'm going to block all your hits. With my Fetosaurus. Uh, eh. uh, eh. 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 All right, so it's something. the end of our turn. It's now the monster's turn. Yeah, the monster control control's going to Dump cakes! Dump cakes! Uh, and he's going to do over the shoulder, which is the closest stinky threat in field of view in range. That's green. All right. So he's going to turn and attack green. We're going to need four D10s to be rolled. It hits you on a 10. And then he's going to pick you up and throw you if he hits you. He's not. He's not going to. He's not going to touch me. Can't touch us. Well, I need to get you a pair of hammer pants, Josh. You'd probably love hammer pants, too. Oh, he hits you twice. 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 Ooh. Ooh. Um, I'm going to dodge twice. Oh. You have, my extra sense. You have extra sense? <laughs> yep. Oh, okay. <laughs> As I said, he's not going to hit me. can't touch this. <laughs> All right. Good job, chat. You tried. Our, it's our turn. Gloomin's going to stand back that, up. That would have been na a little nasty. Yeah, that would have been kind of oh, I have no more insane of Gloomin. I'm going to sniper shoot. Snizzle sniper shoot. She's a sniper. I rolled a three. That's a hit. I'm attacking his hidden mandibles. Mandribbles. Big bugs, no whammies. Nat 10! 
All right. The attack ruins the precious mandibles inside the monster's face. If the attacker is within two spaces and able to consume, I'm going to spend two survival, Josh, and gain plus one permanent evasion. I yeah. uh, broke his mouth. I also gain a survival and an insanity because of... Yep. So you're at six. ...stuff and things. All right. So I get plus one evasion. Let me take a note of that. And Josh, Joshy Bear, uh, please reduce monster's life total by one. And next hit location is the side of the resin ball one. So um, because he's not next to the ball, it's just a discard and draw a new hit location. If you get the Josh Hammer Pants, if you get Josh Hammer Pants, he can do the nothing at all Flanders meme. Oh, oh, that's the, uh, it's when Flanders goes skiing and he's like, oh, this ski outfit's so, did, or so dang uh, thin, it feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. Nothing at all. And then Homer's just like, stupid, sexy Flanders. Because apparently Flanders has a nice butt. I don't know. Um, it, <laughs> it's like we're nothing at all. <laughs> okay. Um, where were we? Uh, what were you saying? The next hit location is... The side of the resin ball. So it just gets discarded. So we're shooting blind. I'll attack off red with the guitar. Um, I'm going to take my free movement. I'm going to move back here. Okay. Which way is he fa oh, he's facing? He's, he's not facing honest. green. Okay. Um, I'm going to attack with the guitar, I think. Okay. Just because if it's a bad reaction, I can cancel it. Yeah, no, it makes sense. I don't know why I rolled a real die there. I rolled a seven. That's it. Why you rolled a real die? And the set of the... Oh, oh, app. oh. So you're attacking the side of the resin ball, so that gets discarded. You draw a new hit location. Uh, you hit the side of the resin ball. That gets discarded. You draw a new hit location. And you hit the trap card. <sighs> that... <laughs> shit. <laughs> All right. Um, full move directly towards the attacker. You are adjacent. It picks him up, leaps high into the air. The monster lands next to the resin dung ball and slams the attacker inside. So you are slammed inside. Here you go. Okay. Um, place the monster in any space adjacent to the dung ball. The attacker suffers five damage to one hit location and gains the Smell World Survivor status card. To the body. It's a cruel... How much damage? Uh, five. five. Cruel summer. Is that a severe? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a severe injury. Everybody get up. It's time to slam. Come on and slam if you want a jam. I rolled the one. Oh, Joshua. Is that Gloomin? Yeah. I hate you so much. You guys have a reroll? Yeah, I have a reroll. Can you not, Joshua? Three. Okay. On the body. Gain two bleeding tokens. It's fine. You also get insanity from your bleeding tokens. Yeah, uh, so I get... Per bleed? What, four? Four insanity? Yeah. Okay. Because I didn't wound with Abyssal Satis. Ah. All right, so next up is a parry location. I am going to surge and shoot. I'm actually close enough. All right. It's a seven. That's a hit. That's a one. Full move towards the attacker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Stupid beetle. Dumb. I hate you. Uh, next up is the filthy face. So if you get hit with a club or shield, gain plus four strength to this location. If you hit with a club or shield, the monster gains minus four toughness and cancels all reactions until the end of the attack. If you crit, he gains a minus one accuracy token. Which can hit with their shield? Yeah, I think this is a good shield bash location. So let's have them roll 2d10s. Uh, they hit on a five plus with their shield. They have no accuracy, and they're in the blind spot, so it's a 4+. plus. One and a five, so one hit. They're attacking his filthy face, and let's have one more d10 rolled. 
Uh, they wound on A. They have one strength. Their shield has nine strength. Uh, plus four strength, so it's two plus. You only got one hit with the shield? Yeah. Uh, so they wound. Not a crit. Just a wound. Um, so he's going to get minus four toughness and cancel all reactions until the end of the attack. So that's now. Okay. But he loses a, uh, an AI card. What the hell? Right? Yep. Yeah. Next hit location is the side of the resin ball. Getting a lot of those uh, side of the resin ball cards. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have a lot of health left. I don't know if you've been keeping track, because... What's how much health do you have? Six. Six? Yeah. Okay, I had seven. I'm one. one. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, so it is... Whose turn now? Green hasn't gone yet. Okay. Depending on what green should do. Green will move... Gonna move next to him and throw up your shield. I don't have a shield, but I can move next to him. Oh, I don't want to hit him. Right. I wanted to go get to the ball, but I'm t oh yeah, I'm just gonna move and put up my shield so I can block. I can. Okay. Tank whatever. Okay. All right, so it's now the monster's turn. Yep. Monster, monster to you. Monster controller is gonna pass to me, and he's gonna draw an AI card. And he is doing Resin Sword Slash. Closest knockdown survivor in range. Closest survivor. Green. All right. So we're going to roll three D10s. It's going to hit you on a 10. And then he's going to perform a basic action. I mean, he's going to run through you. Okay. And chat rolled a... Not a hit. Uh, then he's going to perform his basic action. Wait, wait. He has Broken Blade. Doesn't oh, he it? does have Broken Blade. Uh, the monster screeches adjacent survivors suffer one brain damage. That's the end of his turn. Yep. Good call. Thank you, Josh. All right, um, so it's our turn. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to go first. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to dash. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to sniper shoot. So just in case I hit the trap card, he's not going to do anything. Roll a nine. That's a hit. So this goes away. Next up is his filthy wings. Because we're going to take these filthy wings and, and learn, learn to, to fly, fly again. again. And I crit. Uh, gain one Elytra Dung Beetle Knight resource. The monster gains a minus one toughness token. Broken wings. When the monster performs defensive spit sap, roll a d10. On a one, the monster's knocked down. Instead, on a two plus, it walks using its normal movement instead of placement. Uh, all right, so another that there. And we're going to discard a card. So Josh, please reduce monster's life total by one. And we get an Elytra. Got and that. his toughness is down to 13. All right. What's the next card? Next hit location is Buttflies. 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 I'll hit it. All right. Seven and a three. One, One hit. hit. So Buttflies, you don't have to roll. That goes in the archive. Thanks, okay. Josh. Next up is the Trap Card. Good. Good I didn't double hit. Yep. All right. I want to move... Go here. Why there? Because you need to, or you can go there, but he's going to run towards me. Why is he going to run towards you? Oh, I'm going to surge and activate the trap. All right. Uh, I want to run closer to the ball. There? Yeah. Okay. Um, um, I'm. Okay. I'm going to surge. Okay. I hit. He's going to go and move seven spaces closer. And nothing happens. Okay. We played that nice and safe. So I can't do anything else. Did you spend a survival for me? No, uh, no, no. I'm going to roll for red. Roll the two. I'm stuck on the ball, and I gain a bleed token. You have three bleeds now? Yeah. I'll use green to get him out next turn. 
Uh, next up is Iridescent Abdomen, which is a super dense location. Um, he's going to perform Ground Pound if he's not adjacent. So that's actually a good thing. Okay. Wait. What's the card? Uh, this is if you crit, you gain a plus one permanent strength. Okay. And then it's Reaction Ground Pound? or No, it's if uh, he's not adjacent at Ground Pounds, but if it's it ignores the reaction then. And his reaction is failure, basic action against the attacker. Okay. So he would get the ball next to him. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Twitch hasn't gone yet? Correct. They throw their shield up and get closer? Yeah. So right now you're going to be targeted, right? Yeah. So if they do that, then they might get targeted there. Um, they're a space further than you? Oh. They need to dash. Sure. Have him go there. Okay. All right. So let me move the camera. All right. So they put their shield up. Um, do you want them to go there? Or do you want them to go a little bit further away, a space away, so he moves a little further from his ball? Like here. Okay. That's fine. Um, anything else? That's the end of our turn, right? Yep. Okay. So monster control is going to pass, and he's doing. Invisible Layup, which is do not perform this card, perform Ground Pound and then a basic action. So he's going to Ground Pound the ball next to him. So 1d10 spaces. Probably going to go next to him. And that one gets knocked down this way. Yeah, that's true. That's a very good point, Joshua. They rolled a 6. six so. so he's going to go right next to him. So they're gonna take a step. He's going to take a step over, attack Twitch, yep. and then basic action. He's going to target them because it's the closest threat in range. Yeah. So then we're going to need four d10s to be rolled. It hits on a three plus. Uh, they have three evasion plus one from their gear, so four evasion. So it's going to hit on a seven plus. Okay. And they have their block two. Block two. Yeah. Uh, so two misses. Oh, three misses and a block. So yeah, yep, they're, they're fine. fine. And then full move towards Dung Ball, so he's going to actually go back here. Okay. Yeah. Um, whatever. All right, so I'm going to have it like that. All right, so that's the end of the monster's turn. It's now our turn. Okay. I'm going to Rudy Tootie point and shooty. Yeah, however you want to go. Seven, that's a hit. I'm going to clear the dice up. No. Okay. Ten? Yep. I'm going to spend four survival, Josh. You gain a survival. Yeah. Unless it's sanity. Um, you're going to be down to one survival. That's fine. Okay. Uh, I go up to ten natural strength, and I gain a dung beetle night resource. Okay. What do I get? You're just jealous of my ten strength, Josh. How are your stats so high? Um, we have... Uh, cycled this character twice, I believe, with the sleep, sleeping virus flower. Just once. Just once. Yeah. It w very good rolls in terms of it, plus stats. Plus, it was a it was literally a retirement age survivor from sleeping yeah. virus flower that we cycled back. So they are insane. They've got four four accuracy, ten strength, five evasion, two luck, mm -hmm. on top of their gear. Mm -hmm. So silly, silly survivor. All right. Next hit location is a parry location. Do you want to search? Yeah, I'll search. It's my last survival. Yep. It's a six. I hit. It's a three. I do not crit. So failure move towards the attacker. I'm just going to move here, and I'm going to get knocked back. could have moved set. at the end of your last attack and then done the shot. That would have been him away from the ball with less pushing, but it's fine. Oh, doesn't yeah. like matter. So I hit the column, right? Yeah, you're gonna hit the column. So you're gonna take it breaks. A, yeah, it breaks, and you're gonna take a damage to a hit location. Okay. Damage to my feet. Okay. Uh, recycled sleeping virus flower. Yeah. Yep. So um, the sleeping virus flower is a gear that you get from the flower knight. So that gives you a plus one luck when it's on you, but then when you die, 
basically your character sprouts a flower that you can feed to a new survivor, and then you add all of your plus stats and fighting arts and good stuff from the dead survivor to the new survivor without aging them up. So basically, we took a survivor, took them all the way through retirement, got them a lot of good stats in the process, then yeah. added their stats to a new survivor that already had like two strength and one evasion. Mm -hmm. So it just compounded from there. Um, this was actually my, my curse gear survivor. Mm -hmm. So I, I put through some trials and tribulations <laughs> with the curse gear. Um, so next hit location is the filthy face. So if you hit it with a club or shield, then stuff happens. Okay. Uh, green's going to go up to the ball. Okay. And I'm going to... Here? Yeah, that's fine. I'm oh, gonna... you're going to pull right out. I'm okay. pulling right out. Okay. Red's going to go... Butt? In the butt. Hit? Hit or hit ball? <sighs> what's the, what's the, the current card? Filthy face, if you hit with a club or shield, you gain plus four strength. If you crit, he gains a minus one accuracy token. And then that would make you gloom, man, so you can't get targeted. Sure. Let me do that. <laughs> Sorry. That's a five that hits. All right, so you're hitting his filthy face. I rolled a five. That's a crit. As a crit. The crushing blow dulls the monster's senses. It gains a minus one accuracy token. Archive this card. Josh, please reduce the monster's life total by one. Should have four health left. Yep, I have four. Okay. Next hit location card is the side of the resin ball. It's really annoying. But we can hit it now without because word. That's right, because it doesn't cycle to a new one because he is adjacent to it. Yes. Um, the only thing is, you're going to lose all positive attribute tokens and one survival if you attack. If so you're, you're now Gloomman. I'm now Gloomman, yes. Uh, I'm going to kick the ball, though. Okay. How many spaces did you kick it? Uh, first up, Wait, I why are you kicking it now instead of letting someone attack that card first? Who else is going to attack? Twitch? Twitch is going to one-speed attack that and get screwed? Why would they get screwed? They just lose a survival. Okay. Sure. Uh, they, they're they going to go with their Qatar, I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah, Qatar, for sure. Because I don't want them to hit the trap card. Yeah. Ooh, I forgot. I need to punch him. Okay. So, yeah. I need to give him the whole puncheroo. Punch, punch, puncheroo. Twitch hit with their shields. They're okay. Oh, I get to teleport wherever I want. Yeah, you do. I don't want to go anywhere else, though. <laughs> Uh, Twitch rolled a 10, so that is most definitely a hit. So they're attacking the side of the resin ball. So let's roll a d10. Um, they wound. It is now a... Th no, no wound. It's just a, it's impervious. And a 9. Oh, it's impervious. Okay. To get a survival. Five. So they're going to lose a survival. They have no positive attribute tokens. Okay. All right. Um... Technically, they have an evasion, don't they? From their Flower Knight badge? It's a plus one token, I believe, not a... Oh, you're right. So they do lose an evasion. Next up is an Iridescent Leg, which is a super dense, and it's good to hit this one while he's not adjacent to it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to kick the ball. No, hold on. Well, don't kick it. I'm sorry, I meant it the opposite way. It's better to hit it while he is adjacent to it. Okay. Does Twitch want to surge? Yeah. Why not? They've got survival, right? Oh, uh, they're down to five now with, after spending this. Down to five. Remember the bad old days when we had, like, three? Imagine, or one. Imagine having one survival. One. It's the loneliest number. Uh, so they rolled A. Seven. That's a hit. One more time? One more time. So they ignore the failure reaction. Yep. I'd rather not have you kick it and then they hit it and then it comes back. Yeah, no. Uh, three. Is that enough? Three. Plus five is eight. Plus one. Plus two. It's 11. It's not enough. No. All right. 
So it fails, but it doesn't hit do anything because they cancel the reaction. So that's nice. Uh, next up is the Iridescent Arms. How are we revealing the hit locations? Uh, we have a cool card camera, which has a green screen on it, and we just put them in there. Like before you hit them. Um, oh. We're, we have a Wisdom Potion. Yeah, we have so a Wisdom Potion. Wisdom Potion is a piece of Gorm gear, which I have over here, uh, which is play the showdown with a top card if a hit location deck revealed. So super duper handy. 100% recommend getting that item. Um, all right. So this one is knock back three directly away from the monster. If the attacker has three courage and is adjacent to the monster, they may spend three survival to tackle it. If they roll, if they do roll a d10 on a one through six, they suffer bash on a seven plus the monster's knocked down. That's kind of a stupid okay, card. I'm going to hit the bottom. Yeah. Seven, so it's four. One, two, three, four. It's a stupid card. All right. I think it's the end of our turn now. Yeah, that's... We did a bunch. We did a lot. So it's now the monster's turn. Monster controller is going to pass to... Uh, special K. And he's doing over the shoulder, which is the closest stinky threat in field of view in range. Uh, that's green. Okay, so he's going to attack green. So he goes whoop. whoop. And we need four D10s to be rolled. Three plus to hit, which is really a 10 for you because you've got a million evasion. You want to explain how you've got so much evasion for our uh, new viewers? So I have the tool belt. Which is which from is where? If, from the Manhunter. Yeah. And if you have no weapons in your gear grid, you gain plus three evasion. Yep. It's not running it with any weapons. And then he also has Lane One Walker, which is if you're not wearing armor, which he's not wearing any. Uh, you get plus three evasion. So he's just a naked guy with a scythe. I have a Batman tool belt on yeah. with a scythe <laughs> and a pickaxe. And it's like, come and get me! And they missed. So six, seven, eight, three. Um, yeah, I just got a bunch of stuff in my tool belt. I have two lanterns on me, too. I'm very bright. Shine bright like a diamond. All right, that's the end of the monster's turn. Okay. Um, oh, did Twitch move next to where Red was? Twitch would have attacked from the side. They could have ended their turn. Oh. It, that didn't affect their turn at all. Just No, Red went after they moved, didn't they? No, because I came out first. Oh. And I attacked first. So where did they have to go? Uh, Diagonal. There, yeah. Okay. Um, all right, so I'm going to sniper shoot because it doesn't matter. I. Uh, no. One of you should go first because then you don't have to move. What's, so what's the next card? If you wound, the monster suffers knock back three directly away from the attacker. I think that makes the most sense if green goes. It's a failure or... It's a wound. It's a wound? Yeah. I have I have speed, so like I don't want green to go. Oh. We can have Twitch go. Yeah, I think Twitch should go next to green. There? Yeah. Okay. And then pickaxe it? Yeah. Digging claws? Digging claws. Play it safe here. They also can they cancel the reaction too. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So they could surge again if they need to. Mm-hmm. All right. So they Slow and steady wins the race map. Yeah, I know. Except if the rabbit tries. <laughs> they rolled a nine. That's a hit. Another nine would be stupid on this card. This card has, like, the dumbest crit that I've ever seen. <laughs> no? Yeah, it's, it's... Three survival to have a 50-50 chance of getting knocked down. It's kind of shitty. Uh, it's not a crit. It's yeah, a wound. It's a wound. Uh, so, Josh, please reduce the monster's life total by one. And they're going to cancel that reaction, so nothing happens there. Which pick one? Middle. Middle? Okay. And next hit location card is Filthy Claws. If we crit, uh, the attacker gains a survival. It's actually a good one for Twitch to hit because it's a reflex perform ground pound. Matt, you have to punch. Oh, I do have to punch. Thank you. Do so I want what's the card? So um, reflex is ground pound. So Twitch should hit with a guitar with their guitar. Up here. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. So they're gonna surge. If they crit, he gets knocked five spaces directly back, and then I can just walk up and punch him. Mm. And I will punch 500 I mean, you can miles. still get them and punch them anyway. I know. Six. That is a hit. 
Can they do it again? Think they're gonna wound Josh? I think so. Do you think they could do it, Captain? So he's not gonna ground pound because they're ignoring the reaction. Yep. Um, can you check at locations with red after this? Because I have two speed with the punching, so I don't want to yeah, punch into yeah. a trap. It's a five. So it's a wound. Five plus. Yeah, it's a wound. Five. Yeah, it's a wound. It's actually just enough for a wound. Uh, he's might have one toughness now, so he's only thirteen. It thir that's thirteen. Five plus five plus the two. Oh, it's, uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. I thought they had one more strength. Uh, all right. So, monster has two health left. So, next hit location card is his iridescent breastplate. Um, so you're checking hit locations. Yeah, I'll check hit locations. Okay. Century carapace and iridescent back. All right. So we'll do that. And I'm gonna. Okay, I'm going to run in. In his butt. It's butt punching time. Left cheek, best cheek, home slice. Eight plus to hit. Four accuracy. Plus I'm in the blind spot. Three plus. Eight and a ten. Two big hits. Uh, so which one do I want to do first? They both kind of suck. Kill him with punches, Matt. Kill him with punches. You went on a f three plus. Um, the problem is that I'm not gonna be able to hit both of these. Why? Unless I crit one. Okay. Because they both have him moving away from me. Okay. So, yeah. Um, I'm gonna do the iridescent back first. Which is a better crit? They both have poopy crits, to be honest. Um. So what's my strength? Ten. Ten. Yeah. That's Three right. plus to wound. Three plus to wound. Five plus to crit. Six plus to crit. Okay. So it's four. It is a wound. Uh, so Josh, please reduce the monster's life total by one. Uh, turn to face directly away from the attacker. Beat its wings. All survivors in the blind spot suffer knockback seven. Okay. And that gets discarded. Next hit location is a sentry carapace card. I'm going to surge with green, or red. I'm going to spend two survival to check the next three hit locations. Oh, okay. That's one way to do it. Trap card! And, oh, fuck. What? Side of the resin ball. So I think we got to leave Sentry Carapace on top. And then wait another turn. Right. What's his basic action do? Uh, closest knockdown survivor, then closest threat in range. Okay. And then full move towards the ball. Okay. So I'm going to put the sentry carapace on top. Why put that on top? Because we can get rid of it, and then we can look through the other cards. You just trigger the trap and shuffle the deck. I mean, I could. <laughs> like, I mean, that's true too. <laughs> like, it's not. Oh, I still have survival. Oh no, you're at zero survival. Oh, I'm at zero. Oh, it, you did a wound. Yeah, I wounded. Yeah, so you get a you get a survival. Yeah, I have a survival. Enemy. Well, we can't search on your turn to kill him because there's no hit location that we can hit at. Yeah. Currently. Yeah. Um. Unless someone hit the sentry carapace now, then you searched on his turn first to check hit location. Which already surged. Then... I searched with red. Green is two speed. Yeah, okay. So we're so I can't. I'm still gonna leave sentry carapace on top. I think that's the right move. Okay. He doesn't have a death blow, does he? I don't think so. Okay. Uh so it is monster's turn. Yep. He's gonna do basic action. He's gonna target green. He's gonna roll forty tens. He has one health left, Ice Chamber. <laughs> I can tell you what's going to happen right now. Not He's going to miss. He's probably going to hit <laughs> once, and then Josh is going to dodge it. No, not even close that, to hitting. That, that. Not even a little bit. So he's going to full move towards the dung ball. Because the carapace doesn't do a wound. Yeah. It just clears it out. 
Um, all right, so that goes back there. And Twitch can hit the carapace now? Sure. What's their survival at? Um, wait, what's the second card down? The uh, That's an impervious card, though, right? It is an impervious okay. card, yeah. Uh, what what was your question, Matt? What's their survival at? Uh, four. Okay, so this is actually good for them because they can get some extra survival so that may, they can make sure that they go to max at the beginning of the next showdown also. Yep. Um, well, they're asking best way to get courage and understand it. Um, yeah, it's hot. Just we had, them out. We got a lot on these hunt events that we did. And they rolled a two. That was not enough dice. I just remembered. <laughs> So we need two more D10s. Um, right now they're hitting with one, two, three, plus their weapon is five. So they're hitting with eight. They need 12. So they rolled a two. So they need 10 from their last two dice combined. Six yeah, they seven. got it. Good. So they're going to gain plus four survival. This gets discarded. Okay. Next card's up. Josh, would you like to check it locations? I will check. Why, why did you say it like that? I'm just, I'm just debating how, how I want to do this. Um, oh, if we crit this one, we get his horn. All right. Put that one on top. Yeah. And that I'm going to teleport to his blind spot, and I'm going to hit. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is that a one? <laughs> um, I'm going to move. <laughs> why? <laughs> I have a better chance to crit than you. <laughs> no, you don't. I, I crit on 5+. plus. I crit on 5+, plus also. I thought you said 6. 6 for Fist and oh, Tooth. Oh, 6 for Fist and Tooth. I have a Deadly 2 on my bow. Um, do I get knocked down since I attacked as Gloom Man? Yes, I got my punch in. What? I attacked as Gloom Man. Do I get knocked down and lose my insanity because I attacked, or is it after I... You have to read your guard. I think it's after <sighs> you wound. Clear your darkness. I think it's after attack. I crit. I cut off his horn. And he's dead. Give me his horn, Joshua. Give me his horn. His great big horn. Make it a horn a -roo. Oh, I don't know where his status card is. I now have Fish really and Tooth Specialist, Josh. Yeah. Twitch now has Shield Specialist, Josh. Yeah. I okay. forgot what Shield Specialist does. I'll look up in a second. So we grab the horn. Yeah. How many resources do we get from him? Uh, we're going to get six Dung Beetle Knight resources, seven basic resources, three Caustic pre Preserved Dung Strange resources, Matt, and one Scout. Matt, we're one short. Oh, no, really? Yeah, one Damn. short. Damn. We can make the cod piece. Which which card should I not take? Far left. This one? Yeah. Okay. Which one was it? Uh, underplate Fungus. Okay. I don't want a stupid fungus. Shield spec plus one to all hit locations when wearing a shield. Oh. That's nice. All right. Uh, how many? So we got that. We get some basics. How many basics? Seven basics. Okay. What we get? Everything. Uh, three caustic preserved dung strange resources. Okay. And one skell. Okay. It's a big old pile of resources there, Josh. Yep. You sure this wasn't an antelope? All right, let's review what we got. Uh, also, don't you suffer bash from collision? What are you talking about? For what collision? Uh, we got preserved dung, preserved dung, preserved dung. We got scale, yep. monster bone, Matt, monster you're bone. Like, uh, I don't know why you're so off. No, here. the shield spec. Oh. Oh. Um. Mystery meat, organ, love juice, monster hide, monster hide, fingernail, scarab, wing, sentry shell, scarab shell, scarab shell, scarab shell, beetle horn, compound eye, elytra, iron, sentry fingernails, iron, 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 lantern, lantern, acanthus, 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 beetle, ant, acanthus. <laughs> How do you play? Pillaged the environment, apparently. <laughs> uh, the first time the settlement defeats the Dung Beetle Knight after they innovated storytelling, add secret meeting to the timeline two years from now. Secret meeting. Yeah, that was a ridiculous amount of resources. We got more from the Beetle last time, but we got a shitload more iron this time. We cleaned out the iron deck, right? Or we were one shy? One of, shy. Yeah. 
We gonna oh yeah, exploring the tunnels. Is the Mr. Meat a cafeteria rib BQ? I think so. Spelunking of death! The group investigates the monster's network of tunnels and inspired by rich vegetation. If your settlement does not have it, gain the subterranean agriculture innovation. Nominate up to four victorious survivors from the last showdown to be spelunkers. One at a time, each spelunker rolls a D10 on the table below. Special case going first. Okay. Ten. Beneath the passage of bones, you find a secret entrance and are compelled to attempt the trial of valor. Five. Uh, add half your courage, round it up. Uh, I'm max courage. So nine. Round it up? Yeah. Ten. You have passed and may attempt the trial of wits. Big bucks, no whammies. Seven. Uh, add half of your understanding, round it up. Twelve. Gain the hidden crimson jewel rare. Yeah! If the settlement already has it, gain up to three fighting arts Fuck of you your all. choice instead. <laughs> Uh -huh. uh, uh, no one else needs to go. <laughs> like, we're done. Well, on the Trial of Wits, if you roll an 8 or 9, you get plus 1 permanent luck. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you guys can go if you want, but... I'm going to uh, go just because I have otherworldly luck. We got the Crimson Jewel. So, Josh, you want to remind everyone what the Crimson Jewel is? Uh, that is... It's unique, irreplaceable. It has... Four red affinities Which all around. Ridiculous. Great. Um, and it is once per game phase, you may reroll 1d10. Yeah, that's really fucking nice. So good. Really so good. Nice. Guess, guess You know what this is replacing in my gear grid map? Uh, what? My pile of shit that I picked up. <laughs> that I had to pick up. <laughs> <laughs> you, know what I, you know what happened? I got down there and, I, and like I cleaned up the pile of shit and I found this jewel in it. Okay. You're going further in? Yep. Want to tell chat what you're doing? <laughs> um, so on the first roll, I, I went really fast there. On the yeah. first roll, I rolled a 9. So it was really a 10. So I went to the Trial of Valor. On the second roll, I rolled a 7, and I added half my courage, rounded up. So that's a 10. Mm -hmm. And I'm doing the Trial of Wits. Then I rolled an 8, and plus. I had half my understanding plus 1. So I gain up to three fighting arts of my choice. Strategist? Yeah. What else do you want? I don't fucking care. <laughs> <laughs> like what? What fighting arts do you currently have? Right now, I have otherworldly luck, abyssal sadist, and mammoth hunter. Honestly, I probably want to keep those two and just get strategist on top of it. What's your second one? Abyssal sadist. Oh, the first one then. Sorry. Otherworldly luck. <sighs> you could go thrill seeker with abyssal sadist. I don't think I need to. And you get double survival back, but I don't think you need it. I think you're fine. Strategist is really dumb. Especially if we want to cheese the level 3 DBK. Yeah, now we can. Yeah, now we can. Screw you, DBK. Could take Unbreakable, though. It's Other a ranged character. Yeah. Thank you, lucky boy. Boy M. Boy M. I feel like a lucky boy right now. So that was awesome. Does I, anyone else want to go? Or does it not make sense? I The plus one permanent luck is really nice that you could potentially get. I mean, Twitch's character is kind of like whatever, so. Yeah. What's, what's the last like section? Like it's understanding, half your understanding? Yeah. So the and thing is that it's really, it's not, um, they can't die on the Trial of Valor. The only thing is, it would be bad for them to roll high on the trial, trial of Valor because that throws them into the Trial of Wits. But even then, it says you may attempt the Trial of Wits, so they don't have to do it. Okay. So they probably won't die if they do this. Okay. I'm thinking I'm, uh, I should do it with Barry, too. Okay. You want to go first or you want Twitch to go first? I go first. Okay. Uh, four. Uh, gain one preserved caustic dung, dung beetle night resource. Because we need more. That was the last one on the deck. Oh, so that we maxed out the deck? or No, we still have this oh, one. Okay. That was the last strange resource in gotcha. the deck. Oh, if we roll a five or six. DBK resource? No. What? Iron. Ah. <laughs> um, the only bad thing here is if they roll a one. They roll a nine. Nine. So they're going to the Trial of Valor. Roll a D10. So here, an eight or nine is very good for them. What is that? Plus one strength. Okay. So that beefs this character up and makes them more usable. Yeah. 
Eight. Plus one strength. Nice. So now they have four natural strength. And suddenly this character is starting to become... Good. Pretty good. They need more... Oh, I'm sorry. That's if I added it to their evasion there. That would be nice, but... Oh, so that they're at three evasion and two strength. So they need more strength still. Okay. Um, but yeah, this, this survivor's not the worst. All right, so we all went. Yep. That was a really, really good spelunking of death. That was. That was really, really good. <laughs> um, so back to the settlement, and this yeah. is where my heart gets broken, because I know what's going to happen. Does someone want to time out Ice Chamber? <laughs> <laughs> um, <sighs> Lordy. Okay. We, there's nothing else that we have to do first, Josh? No, you're good. Okay. <sighs> you have a white pickle. Heat wave. Heat wave. Maelstrom beat him to it, though. <laughs> I like that people were teed up with it. Lights in the sky. That would have been really nice. Lights in the sky. Keep them burning. <laughs> Look at what Ice Chamber pulled. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Ice Chamber. <laughs> Do you have it coded so oh, you... <laughs> oh. oh god. I don't have that one promo. It's the one promo I don't have. It is impossibly hot. Any returning survivors with heavy or fur gear have heat stroke and may not depart this next lantern year. Um I do have heavy gear. What do you have that's heavy? The Gorm armor is heavy. Oh. Um We're fighting the manor anyway, so Oh, are we? Yeah, you can oh. you can out for that. Uh, this prevents science and education endeavors. If you depart with heavy gear and your gear grid set your survival to zero after applying bonuses. So we can do fine fluids, which is a, an endeavor. Roll a d10. And on a one through five, nothing happens. Six through seven, depart as normally. Eight plus, your settlement finds enough fluid to deal with the heat you may endeavor normally. And then uh, you can also breathe fumes, which is an endeavor. Uh, one through five, skip the next hunt, gain one understanding. Six through seven, gain a random disorder, trigger intimacy. On an 8+, plus Horizons Expand, gain the Extra Sense Fighting Art. And then we have cooking. We can do... Ooh. Ooh. Superheated beverage. Uh, you can craft it. It is one fresh acanthus, five organs, four bone. It's expensive. Gain plus one permanent strength. We got a lot of resources. Mm. So we could potentially beef up Maybe. someone. Let's roll a D10. Or we can get even more for me. You don't. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> you, you hit everything on like a two plus. No, but it's strength. So it's but so you wound everything on a two no, plus. No, it's so I could fight an old master with fist and tooth and beat him, rolling two pluses, right? <laughs> uh, so what are we rolling a D10 for? Uh, Gorm Climate. Nine. Do we have storytelling? Yes. Huddled together in the Howland Storm, still don't recall stories of worse hardship. Have um, nominated survivor with zero hunt XP. They grow wise from the experience of their elders and gain plus one understanding. Yay. So a newbie gets an understanding. Yay. All righty then. What else, Josh? Is it time to innovate? Um, suck up. Innovate. Yeah, it is time good to. times. Come on. But turn it back. It's an innovation. Look at that white pickle. Would you eat a white pickle, Josh? No. <laughs> Do you like pickles? No, I don't like pickles. Really? Yeah. Pickles are delicious. Okay. We got that. Um, I just need to see if I need to add anything to the innovation deck because I don't think I put storytelling. <gasps> you didn't put storytelling. After the last the time. The Josh, this deck of resources is stupid. Such a thick deck. Thick deck. <laughs> It's um, it's a chonky boy. Much chonky, such wow. Do do do. Just add, a, add one innovation to the deck. I'll add an innovation to your deck. All right. Do 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 do. We tossed out a lot of gear out of that hunt. We did. Just I don't want it. Take it. I want poop. Did you make a square Quaker? Huh? All right, Matt. Pick four. I'm confused. Sure. And then let's do 
this one, and I need... Come on, bring it in closer. I want not that one. I want the one under it. Let go! <laughs> All right. What we get? Uh, ooh. <sighs> what do we get? I'm conflicted, Joshua. Show us what we got. got Coria. We need that. We need that. Um, how we use it as a name? Uh, no, I don't think so. Shadow dancing. Meh. Pictographs. Eh. Yeah, but we need. We need Coria. We need Coria. <sighs> it means we get to go fight a flower knight. Yeah. We're gonna take a super key to the flower knight and destroy. Oh, we're so gonna, badly. We are gonna. <laughs> it's gonna cry. We're gonna f the oh, flower knight. I didn't age a. up my characters. Like. Oh, I got a new age. Oh, did you? Yep, I got two new ages. Yeah, so we're making Coria. As much as I want Clan of Death. Uh, what's your roll? Uh, I need. Can you pass me another die? No. <laughs> you didn't specify. All right, so first one is for Barry Hopeful, which is age three. Ooh, age three. You're old. I rolled a 14. Did you age up with both your characters? Yep. Oh, okay. Age three, 14, gain a random fighting art, which is really three fighting arts. So, chat, can you please pull three fighting arts for us? I don't want a new fighting art. What what character is this? This is our gloom man. What does he have? Abyssal say it is Clarity of Darkness and Translate Mascus. Extra... S uh, you don't need that. I don't need it. One more? Abyssal Sadist. Can't, uh, tumble. It's really... Uh. I'll take Tumble. It's the best out of those. Yeah. Because I'm not a target, but like things could still run through me. Yeah. So you're getting rid of... Transcendent Mascus. Oh, I thought you were going to get rid of the Gloom Man one. No. <laughs> no. No. no, I figured Transcendent Masochist. Because you don't get that much bleeds most of the time. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, and then Special K's Final Age. Ooh, Lucky Elder. A uh, nine. Plus one, permanent luck. Yeah. What's Special K looking like stats-wise now? Um, They're okay, right? Three movement because they have a missing leg. <laughs> <laughs> we really took... <laughs> Our tank really has one leg. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Our That's naked the... tank has one leg. Yeah, he's a pogo stick. <laughs> <laughs> Hit me! <laughs> Just bounce it on one Just leg. Just a flesh wound. <laughs> uh, four strength, two evasion, two luck now. Four strength, two evasion. That's not two, bad. Two luck's good. Yeah. All right. Um, what else? Um. That's that's it for that. What do we need to do to make the perfect slayer, Josh? Um, kill people. We got some new guys. How much iron did we get? A lot. Uh, uh, grab uh, resources for the end of it. Oh, yeah. Uh, we got six iron, Josh. Six iron? Okay, so that puts us at ten. So, organ. Hide. And a bone. Okay. okay. So to make it, we need nine organ, which we have, or nine nine iron, three organs. So we have three extra organs lying around. Uh, yeah, I could find some extra organs. One. And one D10 population. Right, how how much? We don't need cost to preserve dung, right? We don't need much of it. Yeah. So we still have a bunch. So. Okay. So three organs, you said. Yep. I have six iron here. I'm setting to the side. Okay. And you need three from settlement storage. Because it's nine iron. Okay. We're, we're down to one iron. It's fine. We'll get more next next time. <clears> then <throat> what else did we get? Did we need? Um, three organs, and then we need to roll one. D we need to take pop before we take population out. Yeah. Well, who do we have that we can? We have two newbies that we haven't even summoned yet. Yes. Um. Yeah, no. We're, we're, so we're also planning to do a uh, a lights in the sky baby making session, not lights in the sky, a uh, face painting baby yeah. making session because we got a shitload of love juices, right? Yeah. I'm seeing if we should just make some babies now. It doesn't hurt to make the babies first, right? Yeah. I'm just seeing like. Decent 
character. Decent character. Yeah, I only have like three. Like I, we have five characters that are kind of meh. Mm -hmm. So what? So let's do face painting a couple times. Okay. So how how many people had Tinker? Uh, uh I did not. Twitch did not. Just one. I did. So we come back with six endeavors. We used one. Yeah. So we're down to five. We only need to face paint three times, right? I believe so. You have the book. Yeah, I have the book. We need to get a four plus on each one, though. Intimacy. On each face paint? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, we need to roll a four plus to get new babies. Okay. Okay, so we're saying we're doing three At face paints. At least three. So okay. let's have them roll 3d10, see what they roll. And we need four plus on them. Four plus to get okay. plus the rolls. How many love juices do you have there? Um, I think just one here. Okay. How many do we have in storage? Uh, I have five. One in storage. I mean one here. So okay, we so have six. six. <clears throat> uh, so Two we have pluses. A, well, no, because we have another worldly luck survivor too, right? Yeah. So, so we technically use them. Yeah. So three. Okay. So we got plus three. Okay. So since we we're at the pluses. Yes. Okay. So you want to try to do augury first? No, let them, we, we can just use the love juices first. Okay. Um, I just want to think. I'm thinking of um, the partnership thing. So if we want to pass traits on, mm -hmm. so we can pass a fighting art and a one positive attribute. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, we probably want to pass on luck, right? Yeah. Um, what fighting art do we want to pass on? Abyssal Sadus? Abyssal Sadus is nice. The glue man one. I know you can't. It's a secret fight nine, so we can't do that. Um, this will say this is pretty nice. So, you want to take your character? What, yeah. What's What's your character? Male, female? Uh, female. Female. And then a random male. Sure, we'll take. We'll take Snap. 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 Well, you can take Trixie. You want to pass Otherworldly Luck or? Otherworldly. Say this. I have Otherworldly Luck also. Yeah, I'm just I'm just trying to like. Um. You have Natural Luck, right? Yeah. It's a good question. The survival regeneration is just so good, you know? Mm -hmm. I think we pass Abyssal Slate is done. Okay. Just because then it's just like you just get free extra actions all the time. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about it. So what do we need to roll now? All right. So we're going to do six intimacy, so we need to take 12 dice. Okay. 11 plus one. <laughs> is it going to all show up on the screen? Find out. All right. So roll some dice. We get plus three to all these rolls. Yes. We take the lowest of each grouping of two. Yep. <clears throat> and plus one because of otherworldly luck also. We actually only needed to face paint once. All right. Twice. Uh, uh, both parents have otherworldly luck. I think we only get it once. What do you think? I don't know. Chat, what do you guys think? I'm curious. I think we would only get it once. You have two new rerolls in the guys you found. Plus we've got a crimson... Thing. Mm -hmm. Free rear all that. I've been using it twice. Alright, so we can do it twice. Oh, that's annoying. Um, ten and a one. So we're saying we're adding five to that, right? Yes. So that's a six. So can you I'm gonna write down these numbers here. And then we'll just all do them together. Okay. So six I don't have a blank settlement sheet, so we're just gonna take notes of what we got. Alright. Uh ten and a four, which is plus five is nine. Um Six and a seven, which is a eleven. 
Um, ten and a four, which is a nine. Ten and a three, which is an eight. And a ten, and I can't see the last one, Josh. Is there any way for you to see that? Um, maybe. If you scooch it up. The suspense is killing me. So suspenseful. Oh, I went away. What is it? Ten. 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 Oh, okay. So it's a four, 15. All right. So first baby, Joshua, is a six, which is a new survivor is brought kicking and screaming into the world. The child's eyes are free of the ink that stained the founder's face as the settlement gains plus one population. Okay, so plus one. Yep. Okay. A nine. Twins. So what, three? An 11. Twins. Five. A nine. Twins. Seven. An eight. Uh, gain plus one population. Uh, male and female. Oh, no, we have a bed. Um, all right, so we each get plus 10 survival, so we're at max survival, and okay. then the baby is going to get plus one permanent strength. Okay, so we have plus one with uh, plus one strength. And then 15. Twins. All right, we're nine. Don't forget the survivor Matt rescued for overwhelming darkness. Yep. Yeah. And yeah. we've got the survivor I pulled out of a hole also. Yeah. So we have 11 new regular survivors and then plus one with a plus one strength. So 12 new babies now. 12 new babies. Wow. That's big. Um, oh, actually. We more than doubled our population just now, plus right? Plus two? Probably. I we just know. like the Dung Beetle Knight got us really randy and we're just um, like, oh, yeah. Let me see the partnership thing. Porknership. Feel like making. Dun, 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 dun. Feel like making love. Damn, I missed the orgy. You did. Oh. Sorry. No, we're, we're not doing partnership thing. Because it limits the. You get three three people. Yeah. And then you they both retire. Well, I mean, we could do two people each, right? I, I just we'll just. Well, we didn't use it. That's fine. We just have plus a ton of population. But, I mean, we can select a couple babies just to make slightly better, and then that'll be We can our... adopt people and Oh, that's true. We, we can, can adopt wait. them later. Yeah, that's true. true. We can do it later. That's true. Uh, we have a Carolina game table streamer table. Yeah. Uh, so, so we'll do an exclamation point table in chat. It'll come up. Uh, you want to clear the dice out? Yep. You don't want to stare at all those dice? No. Uh, Decadoplets. All right. So you want to roll a... D10. To see how many of them we have to feed to the sword? Yeah. If it's higher than three, we can technically re-roll it because the people are new people that are just going to die. These three have already had the re-rolls used. Oh, I see what you're saying. So, three. I'll take it. So, these three people died. So, it's the two people we found and who is the third? No, no. These are just three people we had and some of them that aren't that great. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, they have their rerolls used and all that, so... Oh, even better. Okay. Is there a story event that I have to read or something, or we just get the sword we now? just get the sword now. Just, we're just that cool. Okay. Oh, yeah, we get more endeavors. Yeah, we got three more endeavors, so we're <laughs> at five. You want to make more babies? We could. I think we probably should, to be honest. Uh, I, I, I want to show off the sword. Yeah. I'm I'm super excited for the sword. Uh, the man on this gonna. This is this is a first for us, by the way. Like we've played a lot of Kingdom Death. This is a first for us making this, right, Josh? Yeah. Yeah. It's something we've tried to do. Yeah. But it just since it's luck base. Yeah, we made the berserker sword. Berserk sword. Berserk. Berserk. Berserk, Berserk sword. The dragon. It's technically the dragon slayer. Yeah. But then in the other one, the dragon slayer. Do we need any gormite? We need one more gormite. I believe. Um, no, we have a Gormite. We have one Gormite. Yeah. We might need one more. Um, so Perfect Slayer. Three speeds, six plus accuracy, 
14 strength, weapon, melee, grand weapon, two-handed sword, heavy, finesse, metal. It's slow, it's sharp, it's devastating too, it's irreplaceable, minus two movement. So slow means you're really only rolling one d10 with it. But um, when you get frenzied... You roll a shitload of dice. Yeah. Uh, it is sharp, so we are rolling a lot of dice with it. Um, so it's, you know, you're, you're getting a lot of strength out of it. Um, devastating too, so you do three wounds with each wound. Uh, it's irreplaceable, it's fine. Um, and we have minus two movement, which is the one real downside here. We can give it to Harvest Man. It's going on Gloom Man. Oh, teleporting Gloom Man? <laughs> teleporting Gloom Man. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Three wounds! <laughs> Did we have any extra iron for another bacon shield? Uh, we have a ton of scrap that we can convert to iron. We could make... I don't know if we need another shield at the moment. Yeah. Um, but now we can fight a level 3 DBK pretty easily. Oh, we can't depart with heavy stuff, right? Wearing heavy stuff. Wearing heavy stuff, okay. yeah. So I can use the weapon. Um, this sword saved my village. Basically doomed to lose to the gold smoke knight. Then we won out of nowhere. That's awesome. I'm excited. Got the iron for it on the last lantern year. Damn. That's awesome. Um, another bacon shield could be nice for oxidizing later. Yeah. Um, all right, so 14 strength, Josh. How much strength does Gloomin have? I don't know. More than he ever needs? Just in, to put it in perspective, Josh, if we put this on my character, which wouldn't make sense, but if we put it on my character, he would wound Tom on Seven a... Seven natural strength map. But I'm saying on my character, it would, be, it would wound Tom on a two plus, which yeah. is just dumb. The only sad thing is this doesn't have deadly, so I'm going to only crit on a six plus. <laughs> I'm only <laughs> going to crit on a six plus. Also, someone could adopt me and give me a plus one luck. So then we'll go back to a 5 plus. Son! <laughs> but then could, could you adopt me back? Someone else could? Because I'm not part of a family. I don't know. Um, and it's sharp. So it's 17 to 34 strength plus survivor strength. Yeah, no, it's dumb. This sword <laughs> is dumb. It's technically... Not 17. It's technically... Nine, 18? 19? 20? Because you roll two d10s, yeah, to wound. So minimum you can roll is a th three to hit. Right. Just so it's minimum seventeen. Oh, it's is it fourteen on there? Or yeah, it's fourteen. Oh, I thought it was seventeen on there. Uh, I did my. You borked your math. Borked my math. Yeah. I thought it was seventeen on the card. So minimally you're rolling seventeen. Mm -hmm. So what's your survivor strength? Seven. Seven. So twenty-four. So you're hitting Tom on a two plus also, or three plus technically. Oh no, but you get plus because you're a grand weapon specialist, right? Uh, I get plus accuracy. Oh, okay. Which I don't need. You have sword mastery, though, right? Not on this character. That's a different oh, character. Oh, okay. 15 is Griswoldo. Um, after the next fight, I'll be able to become a sword master. Josh, can we put blood paint on Twitch and give them the Griswoldo and the Perfect Slayer? Could. <laughs> 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 I mean, you have to admit, that would be kind of funny. Just go in and nuke the monster. Oh, I can't act. Oh, no. It's still activated. <laughs> All right, so we've got a lot of endeavors left, Josh. Do you want to use those now, or do you want to save that? Um. Oh, yeah, it's it's two-handed. That's right. Oh, darn. Isn't there a, a, fl a fighting art that lets you wield two-handed weapons with one hand? No. I thought there was. All right, so how many endeavors are we at? We had two left. We gained three we more. We gained three more, so we're at five. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Yeah, we have a lot of endeavors. Oh, Jehebus. Jehebus. Okay, so for gear that we need to, for what we need to do, we need an Electro, which we have, a Gormite, which we have, a Scal, which we have, a Lantern Bloom, which we need to get. Flower Knight time! So we're going to fight a Flower Knight. We're going to explode a Flower Knight. It's not even going to be close. we got to fight a Manhunter next, though. Oh. Special Encounter. Okay. Um, we're going to explode a Manhunter now. This is this a level 4 Manhunter? Yeah. He's kind of tougher. He's still going to die. He's going to die. Oh, he's going to die. We have a perfect slayer now. How, We've much got how much health does... Look in the book. How much health does a, a level 4 Manhunter have? Not that much to be, calm, to be honest. 19. So that's how many hits? 7. From just what your character. Yeah. If we're talking about... 
if I do my dumb full shooting and you're doing your dumb perfect Slayer stuff, mm -hmm. and that's even, you can surge with yours, so we can kill it in one round. Yeah. As long as we don't hit trap cards and, yeah. and the other nasty cards up. How many more babies do we need to make? Kind of none at this point. But as for Flower Knight, don't take the perfect Slayer or you won't be able to farm resources. That's very true. That's true. We kind of want to go and take it slow just so we farm resources. I mean, I still be able to. F I don't. Care. Eh, you don't need to take the perfect. Oh, slayer for the flower knight. Yeah, for the manhunter. Yeah, we could take yeah. the perfect slayer. Flower knight. Do we need the resources though? Can't hurt. We lose them after. Like we just spend a lot of them. Yeah. <clears throat> I think we could just go full. Blown in the wall. We're having a bit um, of issue with the Griswold, though. It kills too fast. <laughs> Uh, we need Lantern Bloom. Yeah, I know we need Lantern Bloom. Josh just wants to use the Perfect Slayer to blow stuff up. Yeah. Oh, we, we can take on a level 3 DBK now. Yeah. I'm not concerned about a level 3. Especially if we go and we loop Twitch's character, like the good character back. It's just... This is like... Beyond any A team we've ever had by a country mile. So, so who who's looping back for Twi So we can't take both characters for the loops. The loops. Yeah. I mean, special K is not bad. Special K got better with the last thing. Yeah. Cookie Crisper is good. Stats. Um, they're the hardest men, so they have s nine move. Nine movement. Minus one accuracy, which is kind of meh. So they would lose that. Five strength, two evasion, two lock. Oops. So if you merge them with dump cakes. Yeah. How much accuracy? They have negative one, so they no accuracy. So it'd be, they still have zero accuracy. What's their strength? What makes the level three DBK easier in your opinion? Burrow is the main issue. Um, would be wounding it quicker with the devastating two? Yeah. So uh, three wounds per attack versus one. Yeah. So it speeds up the process. Um, wait till next week when we TPK. I mean, it's not. It's still not going to be the easiest thing in the world, but the fact that I also have strategist now, which allows us to have the range to cheese the DBK trap card, yeah. is very, very important. Yeah. The st strategist and then the... Because the, the biggest thing is if you notice how easy it is for us to take out... The carapaces I'm not worried about. They're... Like the toughness for him isn't that bad. The toughness is about them, and we all we put pickaxes on all our characters. Yeah. So like when we hit, we should be gaining for survival. Right. Mostly. And we have twelve survival in the community. Yeah. And pretty yeah, much no, uh, the burrow. Uh, but and pretty much all of us have survival regeneration also. Yeah, we we good chunk of us have re survival regen. And we'll have a couple more innovations by then too. Yeah. So maybe we'll have even a higher survival limit. Yeah. And um. And we'll be yeah. checking the hit locations more. Yeah, we're going to be going slower. Survival is the issue with Burrow, though. Yeah, because you just spend for survival to ignore Burrow. Yep. So as long as you've got the survival to burn for Burrow, then you're fine. Yeah. Um, but if you notice why it's so easy for us to beat up a level 2 DBK, it's because I can stay outside of his range with the um, Vespertine Bow. The level three has enough movement that you can't do that, but with standing on the stone face... You get that extra range, but you have to have the right... You have to guide him into the right places on yeah. the map is the biggest thing. Keep thinking it's straight-up damage, yeah. A.K.A. that is why Poots nerfed that bow. Oh, no. that Yeah, I, I understand this bow is broken as hell. I love so, it, though. If we had a second character of strategist, we could have... Two stone faces on the board. Yes. On opposite ends. Yes. And if we're going to fight a flower knight, we can make another bow. And put it on the gloom man. And have him teleport to whatever. Or on any character. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so we could just be like, yeah, we have two snipers that can take out the... Trap guard. Trap guard. Yeah. That's the, that's the scariest part. And the thing is, like, you don't need to worry about wounding. So if we give it to one of, like, if Twitch plays with their poopier character, yeah, and we give them the Vespertine bow, then yeah, that's essentially they'll be on ball kicking duty and then jump on the thing and shoot the trap guard if they're in the right spot. Yeah. 
Gloom Man's going to be a little tricky because we want we would want them to wound and go in. Unless we gave the the weapon to someone else. Yeah. All right, so what... Do you want to do the uh, the other babies now? I, I don't know what I want. Um, or do you want to save the... the I think we'll save them and okay. try to figure Let's out... Just make a note. Do. We've got five yeah. endeavors. We can also fight Manhunter first and then use the endeavors afterwards. Oh, that's true. Since it's a special encounter. Do, 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 do. All righty. So, folks, thank you for joining us today. This was another episode of Twitch Beats Up a DBK. Yeah. Uh, join us for all of our upcoming streams on Monday, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. We're continuing on with our Twitch Plays Madara streams, where we do an ongoing campaign of Madara by Succubus, with you fine folks at home controlling one of the characters and uh, cutting down a tree. Chop, chop. Yep. Switch played. Yep. Uh, next week, Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, we're going to fight a Manhunter. Probably yeah. going to blow it up. Probably. Going to kill it really bad. I think... I think my bow killed more people than your perfect slayer did. The necrotoxic mistletoe. Uh, it might have. Like our own people, I meant. Yeah. Not like enemies. Yeah. Yeah. Like perfect slayer hasn't gone out of a fight yet. It's gonna destroy. Yeah. I think we're. I think I killed a few more people. Yeah. But yeah, that's you know. We took out like three. Like you had your rerolls used. You're not. You're not useful to us yeah. anymore. Like literally trash survivors. Um. All right. So that's gonna conclude today's stream. Josh, anything else? Thanks all for joining. If you have uh, anything else that you want to know about what we're doing, make sure you follow us on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram. Most importantly, take a chat with us in our Discord channel where... Um, you get to see cool stuff I'm making with my laser. You can't um, show those things off, Joshua. I can. And then if someone does uh, Josh's store, exclamation point, Josh's store. Is it Josh's or Josh store? I think it has an S. Is there an apostrophe? No apostrophe. So that just means it had multiple Josh's. Yes. I think. I don't know. Uh, it might be Josh Store. I think it's Josh Store. It's not Josh Store. It should be. Let's try it again. You said Josh is Store. No? no. You trying apostrophe in there? Or Josh's Shop? Is it shop? Oh, it might be Josh Shop. Josh Shop. <laughs> yeah, Josh Shop. Yeah. Um, I have a 10% sale and then tonight. Oh. So. Is it 10% off one thing or 10% off things. everything? 10% off. 10% off your clothing. You have to take 10% of your clothing off to order. How do you verify that? Oh, we have to send a picture. Oh, okay. If you have Amazon Prime, you've got Twitch Prime, which means you get one free sub every month. We'd love it if you used it on us. Josh, tell us about your favorite sub. Um, it's a Philly cheesesteak. No. I mean our favorite subscriber. Um, I don't have a favorite subscriber. You can't choose a favorite, Matt. You can choose a favorite. Everyone knows that. Um, I love them all so much. <laughs> uh, what, what, what did uh, Jeff Goldman say as God? Um, you couldn't pick a favorite. You couldn't be a... Uh, I, 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 don't remember. I don't remember what it was. It was a really, that was a really good scene. Yeah, I, I knew you'd get amused by it. Who's yours, Matt? Um, it's Princess Steph. All right. Um, what else, Josh? That, that's it for me. All right. Uh, yeah. So thank you all. I'm Matt. I'm Josh. Nighty night. Say it, Josh. No. <laughs>